hello everyone welcome back to my little channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day um if you guys are new here please subscribe and leave me a little comment on what you guys thought about the nails also don't forget to check out my online store zule nail shop um the link's gonna be in the description for all the products that i'm using but at least you finished hi guys so Today we're gonna do some two XL link nails. Welcome, welcome. Um, let's get to one million likes. Okay, Stacy, I like I like that you guys are are ready to start tapping. So today I have a beautiful, a beautiful. Oh, uh, I read your mind, Zule. Hi, Psycho. Hi, Marisela. Hi, Jackie. Hi, pretty. Are you cutting those? Please don't. Yes, girl. I'm cutting. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not cutting them anymore. No, 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 no. Um, I ran out of my rosita. I need to place an order. Sudith. Hey, girlfriend. A ver quien más está aquí. Magdalene. Kimmy. Hey, girl. Is it just me or do my hands look darker today because of the napkin I'm using? Como están, amigas? Welcome. If I miss anybody, I'm sorry. Um, so today we're going to do like purple and cheetah print. I've been feeling cheetah. Yeah, huh? Do you think it's a white? It's the... It looks like I have a tan. It's okay. Ooh. All right, hold on. Yes. Okay, so I'm feeling a little cheetah-licious. Hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Como están? You're looking a little tan. I am definitely not tan, but um, the camera's making me look a little tan. Pero to be honest, I think it's the white background. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's that. Pero pues, who cares? So my nail bed is kind of funky looking. Okay, no manches, way. So por eso siempre me la pongo chueca because my nail is a weirdo. Zule, do you save memory when you go live on TikTok and then post on YouTube? Yes, I do. So normally I would cut this nail a little bit, but you guys already know I lose all my shit. I don't know where my scissors went. When necessary, like if my nail tip is like weird like this, I always cut. So, yes, whoever was asking, I'm sorry, it moved a little too fast. Um, I do save my memory like that. So I download, I download the video and then I upload it. Where is SpongeBob? He's right here. I cut them off, but I'm able to save them. Look at they're right here. they're so cute i was able to save them and i saved the other krabby patty <laughs> just missing a bun okay guys welcome welcome oh my god they look so little bitch oh my gosh all right so i'm gonna go ahead and blend the nail tip just a little bit we don't really need it a lot yeah so um I actually use a extra phone for my videos. So because when I go live, my <laughs> my videos are normally like three hours, four hours sometimes. Um, my regular phone doesn't really have all that storage to download it anyway. Um, so I use my old phone, the one that I had prior to this one. So whenever you guys upgrade, just save your phones. Don't give them away or don't whatever you do with them. Um, and that's what I use for storage. All right, so I'm going to be using my Ultimate Prep Trio. Excuse me, where the fuck is my other bottle? Was that a pop-off? No, 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 it was not a pop-off. So for those of you guys who are recently buying the Ultimate Prep Trio, you guys are going to notice that our Bond-Aid comes in the same packaging as this. I'm not sure why my manufacturer did that. Maybe they ran out of the bottles. But 
it's okay as long as you pay attention and you read the damn label you guys should be fine the same thing hi guys welcome um you guys should be okay so first we do the um the bondaid which is the nail dehydrator and this what it does is it dehydrates the nail plate removes any excess little oils that you may have pretty much it dries it the fuck up ¿Qué color serán? Van a ser un morado muy bonito. Miren. Let me show you guys the purple. I'm not really a purple fan, but I don't know what's going on with me. I be liking purple. So I'm going to use this purple because I like, I want to use these crystals that I have. I've been having them for quite a while now. They're, they're Charoski's Crystal Delight. Y, and I feel que el purple will go good with a cheetah print. And I did something similar, pero me quedé las ganas con que sean mías. Because once I did a set similar to what I'm going to do, but not identical to, to my fake hand. And I was like, you fucking bitch. I want you for me. You didn't put on any. Oh, shit. I didn't. I skipped my pinky. Damn it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Por eso me caen bien, mis amigas. Por eso me caen bien. All right, guys, so let's see if you guys can tap away to 100, I mean, 1 million likes today. You guys think you could do that? Stacy? you better fucking stay here until the end because you got to help. She gives us a go and then she leaves. <laughs> oh, no, that was Julia. You are here talking about booth and commission. Hey, honey. Um, yes, so for the nail primer, sorry for interrupting your comment real quick. For the nail primer, I always like to dab the excess on the napkin um, because it does spread out like fucking wildfire, honey. Nah, but because our nail plate is really dry. Hi, Julia. Um, hi, Raquel. Um, I like to dab the excess on a napkin and then just slightly put it on the nail a little bit. Not all the way to the cuticle because like I said, it spreads out. Ooh, you're doing your nails, girl. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with my no burn, no acid. This one leaves a little tacky layer. So is my favorite. If you guys have not tried our Ultimate Prep Trio, I highly recommend it. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, everyone. Bienvenidas al club. Al club. Oh, yeah. So I was talking about I wanted you guys to go comment on my video um, because we have been um, we have been touching the the topic. But because when we're on live, we can't really comment a lot. That's why I was like, let me just make a little video. Uh, OK, le estás poniendo que, okay, que, 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 que. le estoy poniendo primer. Okay, where the fuck is my monoma dish? Okay, so today, actually, we're going to use a handy dandy Zule dampen dish because I was watching acrylics today and I left the other one over there. Chinga madre. All right, it's like a whole proposal. How's the retention? It is amazing. You could go weeks without lifting. Anybody in here, if you guys have used my Ultimate Prep Trio and you would like to drop your feedback, go ahead because a lot of people are not going to believe me when I say it because they're going to be like, bitch, you're just saying that because it's yours. But, ooh, is that your new purple high, my right now? Yes, it is. It literally just came in right before I came live, so I switched my mind. I was going to use this purple. This one is also new. But I'm going to save this one for another day. Me encanta este pomito. Ay, gracias, amiga. Es como un, 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 um, how do you say, proposal? Es como que te estoy pidiendo la mano de ser mi, mi hoe. ¿Te quieres ser mi puta? Mi ho, mi amiga, mi amiguis. Show us the acrylic powder. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me soften up my brush. Compromiso. Si, es como un compromiso. Oh, my God. I look so crusty, bitch. Oh, my God. Maybe. What 
the fuck? Why do I look so crusty, dusty? They said, mijo, uh -huh. like you want to be a Z ho? You want to be a Zule ho or not? <sighs> Hold on, guys. Let me go get my napkins. I knew I had forgotten something. I always forget all my shit. That's what happens when you go do work somewhere else. Hold on. All right, guys. Are you ready? Let me get my light closer. Maybe that's why I look tan. Oh, yeah. All right. So, I think there's too much white going on. That's why. Let me put a little blue in here. All right. Let me know if I look less tan now. I'm back. I'm back. When was the last time you did a Zeho Live Only? I don't know, actually. That's a very good question. Can, does anybody remember? All right. So let's get this party started. Let me just... I left some acrylic on my brush. Miren. No, you look the same. Y que la verga. Entonces, es el pinche teléfono mamón. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm just dipping my brush in the monomer so that the little piece of acrylic can start dissolving. So if you guys ever get any acrylic stuck on, stuck on your brush, it is, um... I mean, don't use fucking acetone. Just put you, put it in your monomer and it will dissolve on its own. Hola, amiga. Welcome. Thank you guys for tapping. Zule, your shipping is faster than Amazon. Thank you, amiga. Okay, pues, this one's taking a little too long. I guess I'm going to use the big one. I didn't want to. No, no Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of clear acrylic to my nail bed. Um, You guys can add clear acrylic or rubber base gel, whatever you like. Depending on my mood is what I apply. But today I'm trying to do acrylics. It's kind of hot today, so we're going to be working a little bit. Sule, what size brush? This one that I'm currently using is a size 12, but I'm only going to use this brush for um, for the clear, just a little bit. And then, oh my lord, I was really trying to use my size 16, but I think I'm going to be forced. Oh wait, you know what? My, uh, my other brush is right behind me. Just kidding. I'm going to use my size 16 brush. Not the 24. That one's too big. I can only do that sometimes. Are you going to use butterfly? No, I'm not. I'm not going to use any glitter besides... Oh, shit, I didn't tell you guys. I'm going to be using um my new purple color. It's called Perushkish. <laughs> Porque somos Perushkish. Somos Perushkish. Somos perras, pero con clase, okay? So, vamos a hacer perrushkish. Um, and then, I'm also going to use wealth. So, this is the color perrushkish. It doesn't have a label yet. Literally, I ran, I fucking went into my new merch. And I was like, oh, let me go steal some for my life. Literally, literally, literally. All right, here's my, my other number 16, actually. Pero no, hombre, tiene un pinche mopa ahí pegado. Or what, what the hell? Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to do two Frenchies. Okay, pick a nail. Pick a nail for my first French. Somebody pick a nail. Whoever picks first is the one that I'm going to listen to. What 
Tahil. Let me take a picture. All right. Bitch, what do you mean finger? <laughs> Which? Oh, fuck. Hold on. Se me movió. Como que finger? Of course. I need a finger, honey. I need a finger. Okay. Somebody said ring. All right. I'm going to start with the ring finger. Thank you, guys, for participating. That was fast. All right. Hold on. Let me take a quick little nail fee. Because I think um the picture that I have for these nails on my on my um website is not that pretty. Okay, I'm going to start off by doing a Frenchie on my finger. And I'm going to be a little rebel and not do our typical French. <laughs> that was me. I panicked. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm like, excuse me. Yes, I know. Pick a finger. But which one, bitch? All right. I'm going to do the nail bed purple. Can you please do a SpongeBob and Patrick? What do you mean? I just took that one off. I just took those nails off. Go check my go check my profile. I just did a bikini bottom. Alrighty, so let's get to this Frenchie. Oh, you're new. Okay, welcome. Well, I just did a set. Go check out my profile. I'm sure you're gonna love it. So we're gonna be a little rebellicious. Oh, you mean the charms? I'm not sure. I'm I'm hoping in like a week or two. They sold out pretty damn fast. All right, so I'm going to do my French kind of deep because you guys already know I like it deep, deep, deep. Where the milk bath nails? He meant I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about them. See, this is why I need reminders. I forget. Literally, you guys may think I'm joking, but I really, really, really forget. Jail me. If I go to jail, it was Jimena. Um, yes, we do sell beginner kits. You guys can find them on the website under the kit category. But you wrote it down. <gasps> That's true. <laughs> Where is my paper? <laughs> Where did my paper go? Literally, oh, the leg. Where is my paper? I didn't even take a picture of it. Fuck my life. I probably threw it away. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Zule. Oh, my God. You play, honey. Zule, you play. Where was I when I wrote it down? A purple French? Who is she, right? And then we're going to have cheetah tips, bitch. We're going to have some cheetah tips. What? Oh, I was packing orders? Oh, okay. Maybe that's why I don't have it. I'm going to have to go look for it. Please forgive me, guys. I just have a fucking brain of a fish. Of a dory, to be exact. Literally. Literally. All right. So I'm just going to fix my little French here. Porque le falta un pedacito. It's because she didn't write it on her hand. For real. My mom, she used to get mad at me cuando escribía en mi fucking hand. She'd be like, rayate donde no se te ve. I'm like, fuck, lady, lady, lady. Why you being so mean? Okay, so... Let's finish this little Frenchie. Hi, Janie. Welcome. Oh, aquí anda el Fernando. Fernando, andale. Ponte a tapi, tapi, tapi. Hi, mommy. Mame. Mame. This color is so beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh my god. I think I did my French crooked. Lord. Lord Zule. You made it crooked. All right. Somebody pick another finger. 
Hi, Dalia. How are you? Pick a finger, somebody. The next French. I'm going to do two Frenchies. Pinky? The fuck? You want me to do it on my pinky? Who said it? Hold on, hold on. Lados, amiga. ¿Cómo vamos a tener dos en el mismo lado? Okay, I'm going to do pointer. Pointer. <laughs> I would listen to you, amiga, pero... Pero como que van a ser dos next to each other. No, 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 amiga. Así como back to back. I mean, that wouldn't be that bad, but... Ya mejor me las hago todas, huh? Frenchies. I'm just gonna pretend you think this is my pinky. Because that was the next one. This one, this one, this one. I didn't know. <laughs> it's okay, honey. We choose the next one. Um, The next person chose index finger. Index finger, honey. All right. So I'm gonna do the purple first. <laughs> and then I'll do the cheetah print because we don't want the glitter to get everywhere. All right, all right. Fuck, I fucked this one up already. I already fucked this one up. Well, I'm going to do these two first and then we'll see about the thumb because what if we end up with a... You just said pick a finger, la chingada, girl. You fash, fash. Don't worry, honey. You pick finger next. Es que no me dejan, no me dejan terminar de hablar. Si así fueran rápidas para todo, ¿verdad, mis amigas? No, no me dejan terminar de hablar cuando ya, boom, pinky, finger. All right, I'm going to be extra fast next time. Yeah, be alert, guys, be alert. If you guys are tapping, I know you guys are alert. It's like we're playing red light, green light. You know what? I'm not loving my French, man. I like this one better. What cards? What cards are you talking about, Dalia? I'm going to make this one skinny. I got carpal tunnel. You're fucking lying, Fernando, for real? I feel like I'm in school. Okay, not the red light, green light, red light, green light. Okay, comment, don't comment. Mm -hmm. I used to like playing that with my kids when I used to work after school. I used to trick them all the time. Oh, from tapping. That's pendejo, Fernando. Ni me han dicho que you tap el, el TikTok don't lie, okay? Oh, the discount? No, we didn't make it to the discount. We almost did. But TikTok played us. And then I I was planning to continue it the next day. But I, I woke up in pain with my ear, remember? So I took the day off and El Jefe decided to ship out orders. He decided to ship out some orders and... He kind of messed up everything. I really like this French. I'm going to need to fix that one. Oh, I knocked out. Yeah, we, we didn't make it. TikTok froze our likes. And then we restarted it. You the nail tech that says, hey, girl. I say, hey, girlfriend. I love all the nail girlies in the chat. Mm -hmm. They, We are a very positive and friendly nail life. All my little homegirls in here, we just do positive vibes, okay? So, if you guys are looking for a friendly space, it's right here. It's right here. We are very, very friendly. We say a lot of bad words. Me. She's my grandma. Say hi to her. Who the fuck is your grandma? Bitch, you better not be talking about me. Uy, el elotero anda por ahí, wey. Oiga, deme un elote, por favor. We are. He, 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 yeah. 
We are the motherfucking Z hoes. Just filing the good thing. Oh, que la verga. You are my grandma. Fernando, calmate, wey. Yo estoy ruca, pero relax. You're not that young, boo-boo. All right, so let me take a look at these Frenchies. Yeah, this one needs to be a little bit more skinny. Uh, all right, all right. I'm new here. Hi, welcome. Don't forget to follow. If you are new here, if you just stumbled across this live, don't forget to follow and show some love because why not? Because why not? Fernando, you are not new here. Fuck, it's so hot today. No manches. Hoy me fui a sobar. Only if she's she has him at 13, we don't judge. For, for real. But that I'm his grandma. Según, I'm his grandma. The math ain't mathin. It's cold here in New York. Ooh, not here in California. It was hot AF. All right. That little French is looking a little bit better just with one more little bead. Oh, my God. They're looking cute. All right. Let's see. The next finger is going to be... Okay. Somebody... Pick a finger for me to decorate next. I'm not going to do another Frenchie, but I'm going to decorate the next finger. Somebody pick. Pick, pick, pick. Pick, 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 pick. The thumb? Okay. The thumb it is. I'm going to do... I'm going to do for you... Okay, I'm going to do a slanted design. Excuse me. All right, I'm going to try to use as much purple as I can because this is going to be the color of the day. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to learn how to do Frenchies, girl. It's pretty tricky, but... Oh, shit, not all the way. But you, it just takes practice. I am not the best at Frenchies, but I try. I'm better, I'm better at, at hombres than Frenchies, but I try my best. You try too. Just send 500 likes. Ooh, thank you, honey. This color is new. It's called Perushkish. Perushkish, algo así. Perushkish, I think is what I would put. And um, it's new. So pretty. So I have a few new colors. I haven't added them all. I'm still working on them. Um, but I'm working on a new cover collection. What that means is you don't have to encapsulate them. Um, I'm going to be, I don't know if I should add just pinks or I should just add a few covers. I think I have one that's pinkish purple. What do you guys think about that? Should I add it in part of that collection? A pinkish purple. Um, I haven't chose a name yet. But I did screenshot a few of them that I will potentially use on my other colors. And if I don't choose your name, I'm going to give you that color. So if you guys commented on my Instagram and I choose your color for one of my, my pinks. Because some of them fit another color better. Um, I, I will give you the one I name after the name you chose. But I was thinking that I'm going to name the collection. You can't sit with us, you know, because. Bitch, you can't sit with us. You're not wearing pink. <laughs> yeah, one of them is like pinkish purple to me or maybe it's purple. I don't fucking know. I'm colorblind at this point. They all look pink, pink, pink to me. Pink, pink. Pink. Yeah, so I'm going to name the collection. You can't sit with us. You can't sit with us. And I think I'm going to do the middle finger the same as this one. No, 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 no. Hmm. Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. 
love the idea. Thank you. But Psycho, your name was so hilarious. I was cracking the fuck up. I was like, esta Psycho se pasa. Se pasa la amiga. Se pasa de chistosa. Or I'm gonna do this one diagonally. I wish like that is so funny. I I'm not gonna lie, yours is one of the top four. Top four, so it's gonna get chosen for sure because girl brain. <laughs> we all need that in our collection, okay? Okay, honey. What did you say you were going to do for Seahose for Mother's Day? Um, I think we were talking about having a little nail art class for my Seahose. Oh, you know what? It was a little scoops, huh? Is that what it was? I I don't think I'm going to... I don't know. I think I'd rather just give my Seahose a little... A little um discount code instead. Because I do not have any more half ounce acrylics. So. So, so, so. That's, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a little problem. So, mejor, if you guys are a Zeho... Um, I will give you guys a little discount code when we go live in an exclusive, in our exclusive live. I'll give you guys a date soon. I don't know when. Well, Mother's Day is around the corner already, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I'll I'll come up with a date for a little live this week, and then we can um hang out for a little bit, hanging out. And then you guys will have a little discount code that you guys can use. But you are not allowed to share it with anybody that is not a Z-Ho. I will know if you share it. So please do not share with anybody else. Oh, chit. Oh, chit. That sounds great. Yes, honey. NJ, no, me? Who, me? Who, me? He may not relax. Hold on, guys. Me pasa de verga. So, that for people who purchase from you, um, Rene, the. No, we gotta be stingy this time. What do you mean? I don't get it. Stingy with what? Um, so the Z host is the people with the little badge. Me pasa de verga con esta uña, no manches. With the little badge. So everybody with a little, with a little badge, um, they pay, uh, I think five cookies a month. So they earned it, you know, something special for Mother's Day too, you know, from my mother's. Maybe like only for Z host the code. Oh, look, Jimena. You are a Z ho. You're supposed to be on our side. <laughs> because originally I wanted to do scoops, but ooh, thank you, Maricela. But the problem with that is that I don't have any more half ounce jars. And normally that's what I the ones that I use to give you guys variety and colors and stuff like that. But this last scoop party we ran out i didn't realize that not you not understanding me oh okay 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 i think i get it now i think i get it okay 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 sorry it's because i'm so into these purple nails okay so i'm gonna be using my wealth acrylic for the gold part this is going to be the base of my cheetahlicious nails this color is called Wealth. It's part of our fall collection. I tried to drag it to the 
front of the website because um normally people can't find this color so it's easy it's literally the second is literally the second option yeah this gold is bomb a f it's called wealth you need it in your life you need it in your life if you didn't know you needed it you need it honey i will be adding wealth separate i'm gonna be breaking up my collections um and the popular colors i'm gonna be putting them individually i remember this set with a pink and gold cheetah mm -hmm, yeah but now it's on me honey and i'm doing purple nerpo. Uh, yeah, I I wanted those nails on myself, but stupid hand got them first. All right, so I'm going to do everything else. What is a good room temperature? Um, I want to say the best room temperature for doing nails is in the 70s. I want to say 72 degrees to 75 degrees is the best. Excuse me. Anything below or above will make your acrylic dry faster or slower. Is that lavender color? I came in late. No, girlfriend. This one is called Perushkish. Um, these acrylics are available on my website. Everything's available on my website. Even the nail tips, the brush, the monomer, everything, amiga. The link is on my bio. Hey, Zule. Love the purple. Thank you, my friend. I just don't remember what color I used for the spot. Oh, they were like a chocolate brown. I want to learn to lay acrylic blocking like this. It's super easy. Well, mine, it's not like super perfectly color block. Um, Because I'm going to put bling on it. Maybe. Most likely I will. But for color blocking, you can use a blade to cut. Oh, this is looking so pretty already. Oh my god. Picky. Um, what? Can you tell me the link? Because TikTok doesn't let me see the link on your bio. What? For real? So you can just Google Zule's nails. Um, and I will pop out on your Google. Go to oh look, here's my website actually. Zule's nails dot com. That's my website right there. You could just Google Zule, you play. I'm going to do the pinky, um, all, all golden, all cheetah-licious vibes. Oh my God, Zule, I just went to look at the new colors. It's gorgeous. There's so many new colors. Not enough nail sets, man. So I have these new summer vacation colors oh my god they are so pretty oh you're talking about those those are just two new colors one of them i took a picture of rosita um because i wanted to compare with the other the new pinks but on the website we have some new colors they're so beautiful I ended up ordering another um, fake hand so I could do more nails. But the names are bomb.com. So how are you guys doing today? I totally forgot to ask you guys that. I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited for my nails. I was actually going to... um do duck nails today but i was like uh no these need to be square the lady you cut your cuticles no i do not cut my cuticles i do not cut i used to cut my cuticles before but i stopped ever since i found out that the more you cut the more it grows so what i do now what I do now for my for my cuticles, I just push them back. We had jury duty. Do you still use the red iguana hands? Yes, I do. Um, I love them. I ordered 
two new ready wanna hands actually um i forgot the color i chose but i was like hmm i do not need any more hands but i do at the same time because uh, nah, 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 I, I need to make it look like i have more clients <laughs> and so i bought two more hands oh my eyes oh, lay stop it but we need more homegirls up in here so i went and i bought two more hands so that i can give them nails um, but yeah, you guys can use code Zule at checkout with Red Iguana for 10 cookie, 10% off. It's giving Mardi Gras. Ooh. Well, wait until I put the cheetah print and then it's not going to look like that no more. So uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and look for a brown color. Hmm. I'm going to look for a brown little color for the cheetah licious. Ready Guana has refurbished ones right now too. Ooh, what exactly does that mean? Like used? Use and return? It's giving mambasita. Ooh, yeah. All right. So now I'm going to try to file my Frenchies just a little bit to kind of perfect them a little because they're not perfect and nowhere near perfect. I don't know how to spell your name. It's on my name up here in the corner, Zule. So it's Z-U-L-A-Y. Hi. Hi, um, Luigi. How are you? Are they tangled theme? No, 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 no. These nails are not tangled theme. Sacramento Kings vibes, okay. They could be whatever you like. Oh, let's just file a little Frenchy. Do you sell Swarovski rhinestones? We do. Um, we do not have a big variety on the website right now. But I was thinking the other day that I'm going to add more of my collection little by little because I have way too much bling that I need to get rid of. Um, I was considering selling them in bigger packs instead of like one piece so I could sell them faster. Um, but I don't know. Because I was hoarding th the fucking crystals. But I'm like, girl, you do not need that much. I have I've been using the same box of crystals that I filled up a long time ago forever. And and how to call it? I I haven't even made a dent. You should sell them in big packs. Yeah, I think I'm gonna order. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm I am a bling hoarder. I think I'm gonna sell them in like 10 pieces or something like that. Because right now, like the big the big shapes, I sell them by the piece. I mean, you guys can just add as many as you want to your cart, but I feel like it'll be easier to pack like that. Um, for the Frenchies, I like, I'm not the expert on Frenchies either, but what seems to work for me when I do Frenchies is I kind of start like by eyeballing like how low I want my French to go. So depending on the length of the nail is how big you do it. Um, but for me, I like to place my first bead where the nail tip, um, and the natural nail meat and then bring it down as far as you want. So let's pretend your nails were actually just this length. Your French would kind of go a little bit lower than the real nail and shape the free edge first. And so normally Frenchies are like little almonds or little round, round nails. So just picture that. Picture like a little round nail or a little oval. Um, or if your client wants a V French, then picture a little picket fence type of thing. And um, how to call it, once you have the shape done here, then you can fill in the rest. 
because my problem when I tried to do Frenchies was that I used to see people that were already professionals. I just got so much bling, but I can always get more. Um, never, never say no to bling. Um, so my problem was watching nail professionals when I was a beginner and seeing them handle the acrylic like bad bitches, right? But I wasn't a bad bitch and I still can't do that. I mean, I am a bad bitch, but not with Frenchies. I, they will put the bead all the way up here and then drag it down and build it. You can do that if you can do it. But for me, that was impossible to get it right. So I learned to go half at a time. And I feel like my Frenchies come out better. And then also try to work with acrylics that don't set too fast. So that you have time to play around with it. Just in case you don't you don't um get it right right away. Because sometimes you need to move it around. You, you're you not going to get it right away, you know? So you need time to perfect it. Pinche do chueco la verga. All right, hold on. I'm going to use my file like this so I can see it a little bit. All right, so I hope you guys understood what the fuck I was saying. If not, you're going to have to watch this video again. So you could see the beginning of the French. Um. So... For those of you guys that are in here, how many of you guys are nail ticks? If you guys are nail ticks, you guys prefer doing Frenchies with acrylic or with um with gel. All right, so I'm not really a like super perfectionist, but I'm trying to like make them as perfect as possible because I'm not gonna wanna um cover them. You guys like to do it with gel? Oh, you guys are cheaters. Cheaters. Yeah, gel is a lot easier. It's still hard for me because I suck. I suck at drawing even a line, but I'm getting better. So pretty much, you just need to practice, honeys. Practice. If you guys suck at something, just keep practicing because even somebody has professional as me or whatever and everybody calls me a professional nail talk professional because some other people call me unprofessional um i am not perfect at everything you just get you just get so much better at things that you do often so instead of practicing something that you're really good at all the time because that's what zule did for many many times you know like it's very important for you to be really good at, at one thing specifically. But once you master that, you need to move on to something else. Like, work on your weaknesses. So, bitch, you got no weakness later on, you know? I love your work and your nails on your site. Thank you, amiga. That That's my goal. I'm trying to not have a weakness. Pacanona, bitch. Try to find me a weakness. Be like, girl, I don't got none. Obviously, everybody does, but they don't got to know that. And then, too, it's good for, for your clients, you know, if you know a lot. Like, my clients, for the most part, I feel like they can bring me any, almost any design. Besides hand-drawn, of course, because Ule sucks at that shit. And um, I could um, deliver. For the most part. I think it's been very rare. Where I can deliver something they ask for. Ombre. Oh that one. Those are my favorite. If you guys are not familiar with my YouTube channel. I do recommend for you to check it out. My YouTube channel is um, Zule's Nails. The same as my TikTok. And I upload all my lives. So pretty much all the time I do my nails, for the most part, they go onto my YouTube channel. And I have done plenty of ombres. So check it out over there. Rosa. Rosa like Adam Ray. Adam Ray okay. Rosa? That Rosa? Oh, you watch it every day. Every day I'm watching Zule. Every day I'm watching Zule. Hey. 
Every day I'm watching the uh, silence, please. Excuse me. Eh, bye, Felicia. Aquí no hay silence. Si quieres silence, mute your phone. Aquí no. Ha, loving mermaid collection, but I'm unpunished. No more by Why they punish you, honey? <laughs> I'm Rosa too. Ooh, hi, Rosa. How do you save the TikTok lives? Um, so pretty much you go into your profile, your settings, and then you go to live center. Um, and then it says replay and right there, it'll give you the option to download your live. These are giving Laker vibes. What? For real? Hold on, guys. Let me work a little faster. So they, um, start giving cheetah vibes. Mm-hmm. I'm not an out tech, but I love watching you, amiga. I thank you, Mari. What do you do? What do you do, honey? You like to get your nails did? Waiting for the bridal collection. Ooh. Yeah, that one should be coming soon. I, I don't know if I'm going to um release that one until the end of May. Or... Or how to call it, like mid-May. Because, what do you guys think? Maybe you guys can help me with the date. Because I know a lot of people get married in June. So, I was thinking around that time. Ew, bye. We don't hate over here. No, we don't. I don't know what they said, but bye, Felicia. I need a nail tech like you. You are awesome. Thank you, honey. I'm sure there is plenty of wonderful ladies with the same energy in your state. I hope you can find her. Hi, Marta. Hi, Marta. What what she say? I want to know what they said. Was it the one that told me to shush? I need it by the end of May. Got wedding to go to June. Ah, okay, 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 okay. How would you do the cheetah print? Paint it? I pues por eso you need to, you need to, how to call it, keep watching. You'll see. They told me to speak English. I never get my nails done. I bite them off, but I like to watch. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you for watching. Hey, so when you start doing nails? I started doing nails about 11 years ago. Lord. The bridal collection is gorgeous. It is. I just did a chrome cheetah print. Ooh. I actually need to send Jimena her bridal collection before. Um, before I even release it. Because imagínate que los venda todos. Y pobre Jimena se quedó como el perro de las dos tortas. Sin las dos tortas. Like, valió. Valió verga. Shh, la amiga porque no le di nada. Oh, she said my nails were horrible. Mm. Bad. Ay, <laughs> hey, Lenny, you scared me. Shh. Pinche conciencia que me cargo, ¿verdad? Shh. Don't bark. You scaring me. ¿Qué no es que estoy aquí en el chisme, Lenny? Y luego me interrumpes, güey. Dur, casi se me fue la pinche trip. La verga, Se me fue la trip. Lenny. <laughs> Lenny defending you from mean comments. No, it's because there's somebody outside. He scared the shit out of me too, dude. Like, I'm going to have to go back to the sobadora. <laughs> Bitch, se me fue la trip a la verga. Okay, let me get a, a chocolate brown acrylic. Ooh, I have one right here, actually. Let me see if this one's brown. It, well, it is brown, but let me see if it's the right brown that I want. Hi, Wendy. Como estas, Wendy? Excuse me. Let's see. That one is too light. Yeah, it's because there's somebody outside. I have the window open, so Lenny, I am the man. But I did not fucking... 
I did not expect him to fucking bark. Oh, girl, this is a little too dark. Let me let me find one in between. Because then my little spots no se van a ver. Yeah, I switched my my language from English to Spanish. Porque soy Mexican. Y se me sale mi Spanglish. I don't even notice when I do that, to be honest. But that way everybody understands something. All right, let me get... Oh, no, wait, not that one. Let me get a chocolate... Chocolate color. Should I use Mr. Chocolate? You know what? I'm gonna use Mr. Chocolate because it has a little bit of glitter. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. The light. Anyway. Alright, so I'm gonna use Mr. Chocolate for the spots. It's a nice chocolate brown. And it has some glitter. Our favorite. We have a little bit of glitter. All right, let's flip the napkin. And I'm gonna get my number two Kolinsky brush. I'm gonna um, use the the 3D brush to make my little spots. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. I love Mr. Chocolate. Me too. All right, so um, let me make sure I'm in the. All right, so I'm gonna use my 3D brush for the spots. So for those of you guys who are like, "Cómo vas a hacer las spots?" This is the way to do it. Do you feel like the shop towels are worth it? I feel like I hella go through regular paper towels. Um, yes, I've been using the shop towels for years since I started. So I'm going to say yes. I also do go through a lot of napkins as well. Pero pues, it's part of the job. But, um, they're very absorbent. So that's why I like them. Yeah, the Viva ones also work great. I've used them in the past. Pero for some reason, I always go back to these. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of of um <clears throat> a little bit of the brown and do some spots. Right now they're just looking like what the hell? I tried Viva Lint everywhere. I only tried them um when I had one of my classes, because those were the ones I had. Pero pues no sé. Whatever works for you. So I'm going to divide that little dot into two. Try to make them, I guess, different sizes. Yo, aquí me pasa de verga. And I did them all the same size. So let me go in with a little bit more. So just put the dots wherever, honey, wherever. Is 140 for XL press-ons okay? Um, well, it depends the design, but if they have a nice design and you like them, yes. Because you can reuse them. I love the shop napkins. They're great. And at Costco, it's way cheaper to get them at. Yeah, I, I get mine at Costco. I've got them at Walmart before too, but um, I just buy at Costco now because we didn't have a pinche paquetón. <laughs> How much would be for a total of a starter kit? Well, our starter kit is 100 cookies. If you want it with monomer, it's 20 cookies more. So 120. So whatever you like, honey. Whatever you like, we do. We're going to do cheetah print. I'm sorry. Am I getting out the frame? We're doing cheetah print. Um, Sinaloa style vibes. But we're starting off with the little dots first. Hi, Coco Bunny. All right. 
I'm gonna do my little spots. You don't wanna make the spots too, too thick because we're gonna encapsulate them. And then I'll do a little one here. And then the spots don't matter. Si parecen pinche cookie, it's okay, honey, it's okay. What happened to your thumb? What do you mean? Nothing happened to my thumb. Oh, because it's dry as fuck? You took a SpongeBob? Yes, I took them off earlier today. They were a hit. I always get so hungry watching your lives. Okay, girl, go get some snack. Go get a snack y tráeme una mi también, please. It's okay, we haven't been here for a long time. We haven't been here for a very, very... No, the broken nail. Oh, this one. Oh, my God, bitch. I fucking heard it. So, the other day, maybe like two days ago, I got hurt. Oh, no, actually, it was yesterday. <sighs> I forgot about that shit. Um, I, I forgot what I was doing, but I fucking got hurt. It was right before Mimi came, actually. Uh, my finger was throbbing, so I cut it down. Uh, you had Taco Bell today? What did you get? Um, Yeah, so I heard it yesterday, and I was like, let me cut it off. Because I could not touch shit with it. I was like, uh-uh. So I was struggling to do Mimi's nails yesterday porque me dolía la verga. But I was like, you know what? Let me cut it so it could be an excuse to redo them. So this... This hand will be ready for nails soon. You sounded like Rosa just then. Rosa, la Roma Rosa. What the hell? Como, I, I want to copy Rosa. What did, what did they say that happened to me at work? Oh, you know, dude, you know what's sad? So one of my clients got her nails done on Wednesday, right? Last week. And by like Saturday or Sunday, se partió su madre. I felt so bad for her. She sent me a video. I'm like, why would you do that? You know, my fingers have PTSD. Like her nail lifted from her skin. So lifted where it like talks and shit. I'm like, oh, hell, hell no, honey. I'm back to wearing my 3XLs, yeah. But what did you eat at Taco Bell, Jimena? You didn't say. He said her nails are pretty mama. What other old videos? I need to re re redo this. ¿Cómo decía? Hey. ¿Cómo decía? You talking to me? Shut up, What you looking at? <laughs> what you looking at? I did. I said number six. I don't know what number six is. Jimena, you need to tell me that full name. Is it a Crunchwrap Supreme? Is it a Dorito Staco Chalupa? What is she? I need a pizza. All I order normally from Taco Bell is... Um... Uh, ¿Cómo se llama el pinche burrito? Beefy five layer burrito. All right. You could watch this for hours. The two chalupas and one crispy taco. Ah, okay, okay. Remember, guys, um, when you guys talk to Zuley, remember, you need to be specific. <laughs> be detailed. Please be detailed with whatever you're saying because Zuley likes details. She likes full words, not the IOUs or what the fuck is it called when you shrink a fucking word? Abbreviations. We do not like that. Adam Ray, okay, lives here in San Antonio. No, didn't he move here to Cali? I always be seeing his ass in Cali. Yeah, he be hanging out with, with Louie. I would love to do his nails, but he already has a very talented nail tick. Well, he has a few. No slang. I, I do slang, but not the young slang. Like, ma'am. 
ma'am. Zule is a senora. She does not understand the young kids' slang nowadays. Can you show me that gold? It's called wealth. Wealth. Do you still take clients? Yes, I do. Very part-time. I don't do clients as much anymore. Um, but I do accept new clients. Um, I do have a limit for clients to me. AKA long nail. Long nail better for you, honey. I don't like... I mean, I like to do short nails, but not very many. So that's why I have a long, a long nail, how do you call it, requisito, because I already have enough shorties. All right, I'm going to get my black painting gel. And I'm going to go around um, my little dots. So I'm going to be using my no wipe painting gel in black. I'm in Omaha, and when we set appointments, when a person walk in, they tell us they're full. What? That's messed up. But who who is it? Just anybody? Omaha, Omaha, Omaha. What what state is that? That is Nebraska, right? Cause Ariel lives there. Maha Nebraska. Y si hago cita para mi baby shower, long nail only, of course. Pues sí, amiga, tu vente. Tu vente, mi do your nail. Yeah, Nebraska. Ariel, where's Ariel? All right, I'm going to go in with my little dotting tool. And I'm just going to outline the little dots. With my dotting tool. I love using my dotting tool for shit like this because you could just... Is like a pen. It's like a little pen. And then you just kind of like. I like to do three little. Little thingy lilingies. And then kind of like squiggle them. And then add like little dots. Um, Are you doing party bags tomorrow? No amiga. We don't do party bags like that. We do them every few months. But. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any more because I ran out of my half ounce jars. And my husband is like, don't order those anymore. We don't have space. I'm like, oh my God, what do you mean? I need them. I need them for my scoops. Um, because my manufacturer requires like a fucking big ass minimum order so I, I don't have space i just got some new jars and they took up all my space all right so i'm just gonna go around the little thingy the little spots and then i'll go in with the little spots or gel we'll take what Oh, the scoops. <laughs> You're like, yo quiero de lo que caiga, de lo que caiga. Um, it's on the YouTube video you put up today, the orange nails. Hmm? Oh, that's an old video. Guys, whenever you guys see a YouTube video, that is like a, a little old video. It's not like recent. I think that video has was done like two weeks ago. So don't don't believe everything you hear on a YouTube video when there's like a discount code or something or like a event because it must have already passed. Like when I give people discount codes on my lives and then I upload them to YouTube. I don't remember what I say in my in my lives. So people be like, what's the discount code? It's not working. And I'm like, girl, it was only available. It was only valid for the live. And they're like, oh. All right, let me cure this with my little light. How 
behind. Did you see Young Nails had a buy one, get one free? I did. I almost went and bought something. Low-key, I was already trying to shop. But I was like, bitch, I do not need any more product, girl. You have more than enough. The little spot is acrylic. It's acrylic. The only thing that's gel is the is the black. So I'm just curing it, lightly curing it because I am very clumsy and I do like to mess things up. I need that bling chaton box. Girlfriend, you are going to love it. Make sure to get it while it's hot because I think I only have three left or four. Can you read lamps cause cancer? Um, not by your regular appointments. You can get cancer from going outside. So the the lights, the UV lights, LED lights, are not that strong to give you cancer unless you sleep with it or something. But even then, it's not that powerful. Uh huh. Even just going through the drive through, you could get cancer at McDonald's. But, uh, I would love to have the chaton box. I'm sure you would love it. Um, What did you think about your bling, Mason? Your whole bucket. I'm so sad I missed your live. Where, when was it? Was it yesterday? When you, um, I just saw your message today. Um, then... Why do people wear those gloves? They wear them because they're fashionistas. They're fashionistas. That's why. They want to be. They want to be cool. It's all stunning. I just finished sorting tonight. Damn. Oh, on Sunday. Oh, my sister was in my house. Yeah, on Sunday, we had a little carne asada. My sister came over. We had sister day. Good night, Jimena. Ya nos vas a dejar, Jimena. ¿Por qué nos vas a dejar? All right, I think I need a little bit more. They wear gloves because they let stupid opinions get in there. What she said. Nah, just kidding. But people could do whatever the hell they want. They could never be too cautious. I low key bought some. Zule, I sent you a nail design. I know you would kill it. Where did you send it to me? So, guys, if you guys want me to see your message, please text me or email me or don't. I, I don't really check my DMs in my Zule nail shop account. I do not have enough day in my life to look at those DMs. I can barely read my regular DMs. But for sure, for sure, I don't really check TikTok. I don't, I'm not really on social media like that. Like, I'll just post something and leave, you know? Maybe sometimes when I'm taking a shit or something and I'm bored. <laughs> when I'm taking a shit, bitch, I'll be... I'll be like, oh, let me go catch up. Let me go catch up with my, my social media. And then I'll go and scroll for a little bit, you know? Pero también no te puedes quedar en el toilet too long porque se te va a caer el pinche ano. Se te cae el ano, amiga. So don't be sitting on the toilet that long. And so, yeah. Um... When I'm I'm at work, I oh well, here not at work work at the salon. I check my my text messages and um, my emails. But you're more likely to get a response on my Instagram, my regular Instagram. <sighs> I think to book. Oh yes. Um. So I'm gonna be taking regular appointments on May first for May. When's your baby shower? Uh, now we know. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. So don't ever think I'm ignoring you or anything like that. Because Zule just 
cannot be on social media like that. Se me cae el ano. <laughs> what does pinche mean? It means like fucking. Tengo tiempo. I think I think baby shower is June. Ah, okay, okay, okay. What are you having? I ordered both metallic gel liners. So excited. Yes, honey. I actually have three, honey. Which one did you order? Um, I just ordered everything I need to start doing nails. Is it hard? It is not hard. It just requires a lot of practice. Um, but you have a lot of um free education on here on Instagram. I mean on TikTok, YouTube, TikTok. Oh wait, I ever said that. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. So you got it, girl. It is not it's not hard. You just need to be very patient. Patience is key, but how to call it? Writing, writing a uh, ding a ling a ling is harder than doing nails, I think. Hey! <laughs> so if you could do that, you could do nails. Honey, honey, they're like trying to get blocked today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Nah, but for real, for real, okay? You just need patience. It's like cooking. I meant to say cooking. It's like cooking. It takes practice. Where Mimi at now? She is on vacation. Let me get a little bit more. A little bit more. Zule and Mimi were my YouTube IG teachers. Yes, honey. I'm just kidding. Somebody slap me when I say something like that. Nice you play. I need that bling in Mimi's nails. Ooh, so most of the the like all the big crystals, the chatons are the Zule crystals. Um and then the rest that I used around the nails, like the round ones and the shapes are Swarovski's. You ain't lying. These knees will lock up. Okay. <laughs> if you ride dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty. Can you use your Sailor Moon charms next? I do want to do a set with those, actually. um, I'm going to wait for my next batch to come in because I know that, how do you call it? If I use them, everyone and their mama are going to be asking me like, oh my God, when are you going to get them again? So I'm waiting for those to come in so I could do that set. But in the meantime, I'm going to try to do my list that I have of nails if I can find the fucking list. But I do remember that these nails were definitely not on my list. I did have um, Milk Beth nails requested by Jimena. Um, some, what else was there? Oh, some Cinco de Mayo nails. Maybe those I could do next since we're in a time crunch here with the dates. And then, um, some, what the fuck was it called? The, the colorful, the colorful shit. Write a note on your phone and set an alarm. I'll remind you. Y mejor mándame, mándame el list cycle. Do you remember it? I'm going to have to go back on my live so I can see it. Pride. Ooh, yes. For June. Well, um, the Lisa Frank nails. Those are the ones I want to do. Hi, Sylvia. Welcome. Ooh, love to see Cinco de Mayo said yes. I need to start looking. Excuse me. I've only done one set of those. All right. Let me, let me do a little spot. A little spot here. A little spot there. <sighs> do they still look like Laker Nation up in here? 
Hello, welcome, welcome, Ariel. We were just mentioning you, honey. Do, do your ears ring? I'm eating Taco Bell and I thought of you. Ooh, yeah. Everybody from Texas eating Taco Bell today. What What are you eating, Sylvia? Not so much. Ya me llegó el tóxico. Why don't you answer? Like, boo, I'm busy. Y hay que darle... I can tell un shout out al, al, al Toxico. Toxico is because she's watching Zule. Por eso, regular tacos. Mm. Yo quiero Taco Bell. Girl, Coco Team Nails for Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that would be so cute. I've always wanted to do Coco. Un Coco Loco. Yo quiero que me lleven a, a Disneyland for my first Mother's Day. I haven't been to Disneyland in forever long day little one has ear infection oh no honey that is so painful did you get little eardrops for your baby so i'm i'm debating if they should take my ass back to disneyland or they should take me to universal studios because i didn't really um get to enjoy universal last time Yes, thank God, and ibuprofen. Ah, okay, good. Hi, potato. Yeah, so I told Patrick, I was like, Patrick, for Mother's Day, can you take me to Disneyland? Or take me to fucking Universal, please? Yes, I think we're going to do Universal again. I've, I haven't been to Universal so many, uh, a lot of times, just like twice. So maybe that's what I should do. My son went to urgent care for the same thing this morning. Oh my God, I hate ear infections. They're horrible. Alrighty, let's see. Um, What was it that helped me? Did, oh wait, did they give you like eardrops? The ones that are like, um, they're eardrops, but they're also eye drops. Those work really good. All right, so let me do the other one. Damn, my fingers look hella crusty. Hold on, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Oh, shit. Let me zoom out a little bit. Just a little bit. I, yes, so they told me that these eye drops can go in your ears too because it's connected. I was like, what? Okay. I'm like, okay, okay, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me now. Um, those are the same drops they've been giving me for years. So I was like, okay, I ain't gonna question. I'm not gonna question the doctors, just give it to me. So yeah, they good good. I forgot what they're called. How much were Mimi's nails? 5,000 cookies. Hey. Everybody's like, Quanto question? These are cool, Zule. Thank you. And they're not done yet. I already did something like this before in pink, but I just needed them on my hands. All right, so almost done with this cheetah print, cheetah or whatevs. Stacy, you still tapping, girl? Stacy, la Stacy, tapi tapi, tapi tapi. Does Mimi do one hand of bling? No, I do both. The only thing that Mimi does is lay the acrylic, like the base. Actually, no, she lays her own acrylic, put the tips. Everything up to that part. And then I file them and decorate them. Liberty. Liberty. Fucking commercial. Liberty. Liberty. 
getting most busted. Busted, busted. Do you mind that she does her hand? Um, I don't. She helps me. Well, I wish I could do both hands, but I don't mind it. It's like a little help. It's like anybody that does nails wants somebody else to do the other hand. But sometimes you don't got nobody to do your other hand. Like me, I'm always fucking bitching that I need somebody to file my hand or do it or whatever. But I enjoy doing both of my hands. I just don't like filing it. Really? Yeah. So I'm going to teach Patrick. What? I'm going to teach Patrick how to do nails so he could do my nails. I'm going to take one of these. Oh, you have both of them. That's your tip, Patrick. Ever since I started doing nails, nobody has ever touched my hands. Mmm. Yeah. Yes, Le, ¿cuánto vale ese sete uñas? Um, I didn't charge her. Those are, that's her birthday gift, her nails. Her bling, 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 bling nails. But if I were to do a set like that, it would be a lot of money, honey. I haven't really calculated it. But those would be very expensive. They have a lot of bling. I started laughing. I started laughing at a comment where somebody was like, Oh, those did those cost you $150? I was like, girl, not even the crystals cost them that little bit. You know, because the good kind of crystal, the Swarovski crystals, you fucking know those shits are expensive. Swarovski crystals ain't no joke. Just 10 little pieces, 10 little pieces of a shape is like 10, 15 cookies. So, bitch, best believe there's more than 10 pieces, more than 100 pieces on those nails. But if they're like cheaper in price, obviously... They won't be that expensive, but if you're using some top notch crystals, be ready to pay. Yep, Swarovski crystals is like caviar now. Mm hmm. Like, just in general, good quality crystals are expensive. Like, the qual you're paying for the quality and the shine. Like, you know, those things are gonna last. That was a sad time. It was a sad one? Yeah. Why I didn't have juice? It wasn't that sweet. Hmm? It wasn't very sweet. Oh, man. Yeah, so that's what people need to understand, too. Like, when they're getting nails done. Like, ma'am, do you want the good, the good crystals? Because if you do, be ready to pay an arm and a leg. But know that that arm and a leg will be worth it. <laughs> Can a client come to you and say, I have 400, do whatever. Yes, of course. I have my clients do that sometimes. But you cannot be expecting a uh, extendo set for 400 cookies. And want it like hella cray cray. So your budget needs to be reasonable. So... Um, yes, I do have clients who give me their budget and then I work with it. So for the most part, my new clients, the minimum is 250 but there's clients who have a higher budget. So I always ask, what's your budget? And then they'll be like, uh, 300 or 400 or just the 250 you know? You could do whatever, whatever you got. I work with you. Pero también no se pasan de verga. Like, like, oh, yeah, I have, I have this budget. Like, I have a 70 cookie budget. Like, girl, you not even getting a, you getting a short set. is what you getting. One color, that's it. Yeah. It, I don't care your budget. I don't care what your budget is. I can work with it. But don't, don't get crazy either. You know? All right, let's see. I use my secret stash of Swarovski on me only. <laughs> I, uh, my clients, when I thought, when they were saying that they were not going to sell Swarovskis no more, my clients were like, are you going to use them on us still? And I was like, yes, I have so much bling that I've collected over the years. Like, 
I have to, you know. But then I was like, you know what? No, fuck that. I'm not going to use my stash on you guys. But then I, I noticed how much I waste, how much bling I actually have. And I was like, uh, Zule, you could, you could spare them because my clients, some of my clients don't even get bling anymore. They're all into like nail art or something like that. What's the most I've charged somebody for nails? Um, recently about four fifty. A long time ago was like five something. I don't remember the exact number. I want to say it was like five thirty or something like that. Between five thirty, five fifty. Um, was, oh wait, do you recommend being home-based but not being licensed? Um, I recommend you get your license. I mean, I can recommend you to be home-based or not. That's up to you, whatever tickles your pickle and whatever works for you at the moment. But, how to call it, you should eventually get your license and work out of a, um, a salon or a suite. And the reason why I say that is because, I mean, I don't know. There's, I wouldn't feel right, personally, working out of my home. No, I can't work out of here anyway, even if I wanted to. But I don't know. I feel like some people are fucking crazy. I would not want random people in my house anymore. When I started, I did do that. I worked out of my mom's house. But I used to work outside because that's the only fucking way I was able to do people's nails. Um, and even then, I still was a little like, oh, I'm going to give this person my address. And then one time I called this this um, this lady a fucking bitch. I called her a bitch because she had me waiting and she didn't give a fuck about my time. So she got me mad or whatever. And then I was like, <gasps> she's going to come fuck me up. So like things like that. I was like, oh, he, you know, and she knows where I live now. Like, oh, my God. You know, so things like that is like, uh, no, I don't know. I'm not going to give people my address. But if you feel safe about having people in your house, go ahead. But I recommend you don't mix business and personal. Pero si no hay de otra, pues ya que. Usa la pinche, um, <laughs> la address de tu suegra, shit, hey, somebody else's house. Whatever, whatever you can do, you do, okay? Because we all start at home, but trust me when I tell you, you do not want strangers in your home forever. Especially when you start to grow as a, as a, like... Let's pretend you become a popular nail tag. You pop in. Do you really want these strangers in your home? You don't know what what they're going to do. You don't know who they're going to bring. You don't know if they're going to come steal from you later or whatever. Or if they're going to give your address to somebody else. People, people cray cray. I renovated my garage and do nails there. But I keep my gun on me and I don't allow guests. Okay, girl. You go, girl. Like, even if I wanted to work here from home, how to call it? Um, I can't. We have a HOA, and I will get my ass kicked, kicked out. I'm home based, but I'm very strict on who I book. Ah, okay, yeah. I I think I'm too. I don't know. Or maybe if I did have somewhere to do nails here, it wouldn't be inside my house. It'd probably be in my garage. I'm like, come through the back, bitch. You're not coming through my whole house. <laughs> you know. Somebody's asking for a discount code. We do not have a discount code. All right, guys. So I'm just um drying my nails. But whatever works. Because when I used to do nails at my mom's house, I used to sit my ass outside in front where everybody could see me. Would I DB too weird of a request to prior to an appointment? Um... No, I mean, you're just trying to look out for yourself because there is a lot of, sh there is shady customers. Um, Somebody will book for somebody else and things like that. Like, the hell? All right, let me encapsulate the nails. Look at the nails. They're looking so cute. 
This purple is called perrushkish. Perrushkish. Porque somos perrushkish nosotras. But it's up to you guys at the end of the day, whatever you're comfortable with. But for sure, get your license if you're going to do this full time. If you're going to make this a career, you want to at least be licensed. I know some people, for whatever reason, they cannot get a license. But if you can, if you have everything that you can to get a license, do that, please. Shit, I don't have no pew pew, but I do have a fucking hammer, bitch. I will hammer your ass if you do not fucking pay me. Hey, one of my clients forgot her shank at the at the salon, so I have a shank now too. Oh my god, one girl was going off on me and a page a lot of posts about me. I didn't get a response. Pew pew. Mm hmm. All right, so we're going to encapsulate. Yeah, I, I'm going to say, not the hammer. Uh-huh, I have a hammer, bitch. I may not have a pew pew, but I have a hammer. <laughs> All right, let's encapsulate. Wait, did I cure them? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a hammer. Like, do not make me, do not make me break your fucking nails. Do not make me break your, break the nails I just worked hard on and almost got carpal tunnel with. Whack them knees. Hell no, I ain't gonna hurt their knees or their body. I'ma fucking break them nails. Like, no ma'am. I'm about to whip you with the back of the hammer. Hey. So this purple is called Perushkis. Perushkis, the, the gold acrylic is Wealth. And the chocolate brown is Mr. Chocolate. I'm not letting hammer time. Can't touch this. What do you think about going to them instead of coming to you? That's a good alternative as well. But again, it also runs with risks. Because people, some people are not. Um, you don't really know who you are booking sometimes. So just be careful when you're getting customers or going to them. I started going to people's houses. But back then, I did not. When you're young, you do not fear for anything. You you do not have fear when you're young. So when I started doing nails, I was not really scared of going to people's houses. That was not something that crossed my head. Like, what if I get kidnapped or some shit? Or like when people came to my house, I didn't think of anything like that until later on. Now I think about my safety a lot. And so that's something to consider, you know? Um, but based on, based on my experiences on going to people's houses, just know it's not going to be super comfortable. Um, but if it's the only way for you to get your nail experience, do it, do it. Trust me. It's, it's just going to motivate you to push to get to your next goal, which would be having your own nail space or something like that, you know, because I mentioned it a lot of times when I used to be a mobile nail tech, most of my my little clients that I would um go visit to, they did not have a proper space for me to sit at. So I started to carry my own table. So they would be like, oh, I'm going to do your, can you do my nails here at the dining table? Like, yeah, I could do your nails there, but like, it's so uncomfortable. Like you're at the edge of the table. You're used to like front to front, not twix sideways, you know? So you could definitely bust the set on the side of a table, but it's going to be hurting your back. And then sometimes their lighting is not the business where like, it's so dark. The light bulb is like dying and flickering. Or how to call it. You need to plug something in. Thankfully now. 
Thankfully now, a lot of our electronic devices are rechargeable, so you don't really have to worry about an outlet because back then I had to carry my own extension cord. Excuse me, I had to carry my own extension cord to make sure that I was able to reach the outlet because they would have it like hidden behind the fucking couch, behind the TV, and I could not reach it. So it was like a whole mission impossible to go to people's houses. But again, that is part of the experience. And um, as soon as I got a little bit more clients, I was like, okay, well, we are going to start doing nails at my house. So if you guys would like your nails done, come to my house. And so I started gathering them up in my house. And um, when... When that was like already like I was annoyed of doing nails at home because so another reason why I stopped doing that nails at home was because my family was so fucking embarrassing. My mom would embarrass the shit out of me. She'd be fucking yelling, yelling for me like I was like in the next rancho and shit. Patrick would be fucking over here giving my clients Jurassic Grove lessons with his toys and then my sister's dog would be humping them. So it was not the business. And then on hot days, we would be sweating um, like a motherfucker outside. So I was like, no, ma'am. I need to get my ass a fucking room. And my mom's that type of fucking Mexican that is like... My mom is that Mexican that's like, yo no quiero a nadie. In esta casa. Like, you know, quiero visitas. Like, shit like that. So, even if I wanted to take you inside, I couldn't. So, you know, best beliefs. Leg was like, okay, girl. We need to go somewhere else. So, that's where I say that you go through your life experiences and then you want more. Okay. And that's how I ended up at the nail salon where I'm at. It's not a fancy location whatsoever. My room is actually falling apart. The little room that I'm in, I've been in there forever. It hasn't been at its best. Um, isn't I've never really looked for fancy. There's a lot of people who like that, like fancy schmancy shit. For me, as long as I'm able to have a little roof over my head and quality products, that's all that matters. Um... Yeah, my mom was fucking cray cray. That's all that mattered to me. So that was my beginner experience. And so, yeah, I love my little nail room. That place is so cute. Thank you, honey. Se me están cayendo las pinches luces del, del, del roof. De how old that fucking room is, but... I ain't the landlord, so nah, it's getting. Has anyone left after you finish your set without paying? Yes, actually I have, but they never left without telling me they were not going to pay. They were actually regular clients. It happened to me twice. Yeah, no, 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 no. Three times. It happened to me three times in my whole 10 years of nails. Um, and they, two of them were already long-term clients, which I didn't expect for them to do. Um, one of them was like, oh my God, I forgot my money. And she left, right? And like I said, I was not expecting for them to do me like that. So I was like, okay, just come back later, right? Because they live nearby. The second one, I already knew she didn't have money. So it was my fault for providing a service without getting paid. Like, she was going to owe me. She's like, oh, they don't pay me until whatever day it was. Y luego llegó el día y nunca me pagó la pinche perra maldita. But yeah, I have had people pay me. But you know what? It's like they burn their own bridges. Ellas son las que pierden, you know? Karma's a bitch too, so. I'll be chasing them down. Girl, I was low-key kind of wanting to do that. But I was like, you know what? No. Because they're the ones that are going to lose. They're going to want to get their nails done and you are not available no more. 
oh my god, you never contacted them? I sure did. Me tragué toda mi pinche pride. I was like, I need to collect. Because back then, I used to be paycheck to paycheck, you know? Um, like, I need to get paid what I already earned or whatever. And so, how to call it? I DM this girl on Snapchat, on Instagram. I text her and she says, so la pincha ciega. I even reached a point where I DM her sister and I was so embarrassed. And she fucking didn't respond. I was like, okay, what ifs? What ifs, girlfriend? But like I said, they lose more than you. So I was like, she must have needed it more than I did. So I'm like, eh. And the sad part was that they were really good customers. Like, we got along so well. So it was more sad to me than anything. Like, it was like a little breakup with a friend. Or something like that. Like, it was so sad. I low-key got sad with those two. Two. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? With my these two clients because I I they pretty much stabbed me out. They pretty much stabbed me in the back. I didn't expect that to ever happen to me. And that's why I feel like I don't really trust a lot of people. Because I'm a very, very nice person and people always do me dirty. Because, you know, when you're nice, people always take advantage. So it's like, uh-uh, honey. Not no more. I'm, I'm still nice, but I watch my back a lot more now. Yeah, it's just sad when you thought you were good with shows you who they are. Mm -hmm. And the sad thing is that it happens to me more than I wish it would. Um, But I guess that's just part of life. And I just try to not get attached anymore. Because al último yo soy la que pinche sufro la verga. Live and learn. Yeah. Karma's a bitch though. She gonna spin the block always. And it's funny. It's funny because I found this one of these clients at Costco. I was like, I would love to find... I would love to find this bitch somewhere. And boom, I found her as at Costco. She, ooh, she swerved, honey. I saw her, but I just pretended like I did it. Ooh, honey, she swerved. <laughs> I was like, bitch, I fucking see your stupid ass over there. I was like, whatever. I'm her, Zule, mi culito. Por que, my reina? Por que? Yeah, pinche uña. I'm over here trying to add more and more and more and more and more. Ready? No se hace el pinche apex a la verga. Parece que está flat. That's why I stopped doing other people's nails and only do mine and my daughter's after 15 years. Oh, because people no pagaban, Millie? Those nails are so pretty. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. I think I was making shit up. I was like, as much as I order, she know my heart. <laughs> what you say, Ariel? I missed the first part. You can't trust anyone. I can't even trust myself. I'm trying to steal from myself. Hey, Zule steals from <laughs> Zulay steals from her shelf. Yes, Myra, these are a 2XL length. I decided to do a little shorter this time, you know, variety nail tips for all of you guys who not the 3XL. I hope they got chorro and it was all in their nails. Ooh, I want to do all cash only, but I think charging deposit is way safer. Oh, like for your nail appointments? Yes, charge a deposit. And it could still, how to call it, be through like Zelle or something that's like cash. I was scared to tell you my neighbor stole my package worth. Oh, 
Oh, that was you, huh? Did you ever get it back? I was like, how do you know your neighbor stole it? <laughs> Should have done almond? I am. I am going to use those almond tips. Um, I'm going to use the duck nails, the almond tips with different designs. But not for this set. This set needs to be square. If you're letting them pay with cash, better check your bills and make sure they're real. Mm -hmm. Have a little marker. You cannot trust no nobody. I don't think I've ever gotten a fake bill. But you can never be too careful. That's why I don't really care for new clients. Because some of them be fishy. No, I didn't, but the carrier told me he gave it to the wrong person. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, what? Still dealing with the claims. Oh, man. Well, at least you have the carrier as backup. Fucking mailman. What, what did you order again? My client gave me the fake bills. I thought we were friends. We're, what? What a fucking bitch. What a fucking biatch. Fucking mail carriers need to do a better job, man. That's why I'm scared of shipping big orders. So if you guys are in California and you guys like to pick up, that's better for me, okay? Oh, the moonlight hearts. And we don't have those anymore, huh? She knows I'm a single mom and she still burned me when I told her about it. She blocked me. <gasps> Oh my god. Will the SpongeBob nail be posted on YouTube? Yes. All my nails will be posted on YouTube. Um just I have like two more sets in front of that one, I think. The mermaid one and something else. I don't remember what else I did. Or maybe just the mermaid set and then SpongeBob. Cause I just added these orange ones to my YouTube channel today. So if you guys missed it and you guys don't have nothing to do after, you guys can go check out my new video for these beautiful nails. Excuse me. Hello, C curve nails today. What? No, they're not C curve, but they do have like a little slight curvature. So check it out. These are not C curve, but they do have a little bit more of a curve. They're not too flat, but they are not C curved either. What's your favorite YouTube? Mm, that's a tough one because I watch more food than anything. I used to watch Marta Chavez a lot on YouTube. I miss her videos. I I don't watch too many nail nail tutorials anymore because all the nail to uh, the nail channels I watched they don't upload no more. Like what the hell? What the hell? And I personally do not like to watch videos where people do not talk in. I hate I personally hate when they just put music like ma'am can can you tell me a story? <laughs> like, can you can you tell me a story or can you say something? I don't want to just watch the nails. Put me to sleep, please. <laughs> Cause when I watch YouTube, it's so I could go to sleep. So it's like, please, ma'am, put me to sleep. Okay. So that's why I leave my whole videos for my YouTube. The whole thing. Because I know people like to watch long time videos. Some people, there's a lot of people who don't. But you guys could just skip to the point. Or whatever. Watch the pieces you like. But I enjoy when people talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and entertain me. I don't want to see you filing for days and you have not said a word. Like ma'am, bye. Also, like Nails by Vic, she tells scary stories oh you know what i think i seen her 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 youtube channel once um and she does poly gel right 
I happened to bump into one of her, her videos once. And I was so hooked. Um, It was a... I forgot what the story was about. But you know what? Yes, I was hooked on that fucking... I wasn't even watching the nails anymore. I was just listening to a story. I was like, damn, I'm about to watch this again to see the fucking nails. But it was interesting. It was very, very interesting, the story. I was like, what the hell? It's so hard for me to watch lights when people do their nails. What do you mean? When people do their nails. Like, when people do their own nails. Yes, I love her videos. I learned a lot. Of, oh, yes. She's actually the reason why I wanted to try poly gel. I didn't know they had them in colors now. Like, what the hell? Marta Chavez. Yes, I love her. You're going to take a class with her? <gasps> Oh my gosh, tell her I said hi. She knows me. Tell her I miss her and, and her YouTube. When when are you taking a class with her? I've seen people advertise silent appointments. I could never. Actually, no, don't say never. Because back in the day, I would have said the same thing. That I could never have a silent appointment. But you know what? After doing nails for so fucking long, you will appreciate silent appointments. Zule, when will you put up the May box? On May 1st. I will put up the May box on May 1st. I don't know what I'm going to put in it just yet, but it will be available on May 1st. Every first of the month, I will have the boxes up. Um, what the fuck? Was that? I need cheese mint. Yeah, cheese mint is good, but you guys have to be careful with cheese mint sometimes, because if the cheese mint is negative, sometimes you will absorb the energy. Like I, I started to notice that after COVID, after like quarantine, I mean, after quarantine, I started to notice how how. Cheese may conversations like negative negative news or whatever can drain you. Like um because I didn't really conversate with people during quarantine, like face to face or anything like that. I to be honest, I don't even know what the fuck I did during quarantine. All I, I all I know is that I fucking worked so fucking hard. Um on my store, but other than that, besides working, I don't remember what I did. So when I went back, my clients were catching me up with their life, right? But most of my clients always vent to me, which I'm okay with. You can vent to me. I feel like baby Jesus made me a good listener because like people need people like me and you guys to listen to them, right? But it comes with a with um a price pretty much you absorbing you're absorbing their energy which is good for them you know because they're releasing it and they're gonna be feeling better but then too much of that is going to too much of that is going to make you feel like you have no energy you're going to be angry depending on how you handle with things or whatever and so i now the worst part is I'm licensed therapist and I can't let clients know. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I wanted to be a psychologist when I was younger, but people laughed at me. And so I became an outtick. So, yeah, as I was saying that now when people bend to me, I notice it more like my shoulders hurt, my head hurts, like I'll be more quiet. And so how to call it if somebody don't want to talk it's okay zule moves faster when she don't talk anyway i don't take it a bad way or anything like that but most of my clients do like to chat which is cool i love it but just be careful when they're venting notice the difference in your energy um what happened i used to talk my nail lady to death and she never really responded <laughs> that is so funny um 
Then one day she started asking me questions about stuff. That is so funny. Dude, I have a client that's like that. So trust me, we are listening. Just sometimes you guys are so into your conversation. You don't even stop to breathe, girl. So don't forget to breathe when you guys are chatting and venting. She's left-handed. Yes, I am left-handed. The brush I was using is a size 24. Okay, Zule, do a Zeho bling scoop for month of my birthday. Um, I need to check out what kind of bling I have. I don't have too much special bling. You're a June baby, huh? But yeah, so silent appointments are are not too bad. I love a big brush. Well, come get it, honey. Is como va la la Selena Gomez? Na 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 na. Something something something. Come and get it. Na na na. I don't even know how the fuck the song goes. <laughs> Now you guys will have priority for the bling. I'm waiting for some neon bling a ling a ling. Bling bling bling. Nee, 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 nee. My neighbors are gonna be like, what the fuck, Zule? What the fuck? Shante Nails. Hi, honey. Wait a minute. I have an acrylic piece on here. When you're ready, come and get it. Andale, tu shisha. Ves la canción, no como yo. Yo me invento los pinches lyrics. Do you have anybody who books a signing appointment but still talks? I actually don't have that option. Like, like if you book an appointment, you could talk or not talk, whatever you like. I used to force people to talk. Now it's like, you're not talking, it's cool. Better for me. I listen to my music, but do not. The one thing that I hate, not that it's happened to me before a lot. I think it's happened once or twice where like one of my clients was trying to like watch their Netflix. But it's like, bitch, bring your earphones. I'm not going to lower my shit because you're trying to listen to yours. Like, man, bye. Like, if you're trying to listen to your own stuff, it's cool. Do that. But bring earphones. Bring earphones because I'm still going to listen to my music. I also had a client once who was trying to tell me she didn't like my music. They're like, the fuck? How the fuck are you going to go into, like, a restaurant or, like, Macy's or whoever the fuck is playing music and be like, I don't like the music. Can you change it? Like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. I could see your comment, K-16. Like, no, do not let people do you like that. You play your own shit. I had a client come in and shut my TV because she didn't want to hear my music and I was mad. What the? fuck i would have been like uh excuse me bye this was a long time ago i was way too i used to, to get taken advantage of not no more honey you don't like my shit too bad too bad so sad nah but i'm definitely considerate i i play things that i think you're gonna like but i like too But yeah, some people are hilarious. Like, ma'am, you cannot come up in here and fucking... It's like going to somebody's house and moving their shit around. Like, uh, no. No, ma'am. You don't ask them what they prefer? No, I don't. Once you ask, then... 
I, I don't ask them because once you ask, it's like you're allowing them to choose what they want. And nope, <laughs> nope, I've learned my, I've learned to not be too nice either. Once you're too nice, people take advantage and nope, been there, done that. It doesn't end well. I think me and my clients are opposite. I'm the one doing all the talking. Any plans for Memorial Day weekend? When is that? When is Memorial Day weekend? I'm, I'm not familiar with the holidays. Exactly, honey. Oh, May 29. No, hombre, no, I don't got no plans. They're paying to get their nails done. Not, not get their nails, not run your salon. I started doing nails about 11 years ago. What are we not asking? Oh, <laughs> to change the music. Girl, we've been having story time. What you mean? What you mean? Okay, ask me a question that will not get me in trouble and I will think of a story. You know what? I Where's my water at? Here it is. Hi, I'm Dory. I suffer from a short term memory loss. <sighs> That's totally me. <laughs> Have you ever heard? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm popping my gum. Mm, have I ever had a client be disrespectful or rude? Mm, the thing... The one thing that, the one client that pops into my head on being rude was, was a girl who would tell me how to do her nails. She was a nail tech. I was like, the fuck? And it was like wrong as fuck. I'm like, no ma'am. It wasn't, she wasn't really rude, but I mean, I've never had rude clients to be honest not that i can remember who moved out first me reina reina still lives in our old house yeah i'm gonna use a disc right now but i'm trying to file the top of the nail like the surface What's the worst fight you and Reina had and why? Ooh, that's a tough one. We used to fight a lot when we were little. When we were little, we used to fight a lot for stupid shit. But me and Reina used to kick each other's ass so bad. Um, We used to grab each other by the greñas and kick each other at the same time on the couch. So, you know how that went. But it was for dumb shit, and then we'd make up in five minutes. Um, how did it feel when I moved out? Uh, it was definitely sad. I felt sad because it was different, you know? Mm, a lot of us are not good with change, but I am very happy I moved out. I love my my privacy and all of that. Now, um, about six years later, my mom lives with me now. So I don't have as much privacy. But I do because she stays in her room for the most part. My biggest pest. Pe how old were you when you moved out? Um, let's see. It was like six years ago. So 25. Something like that. 
my biggest pet peeve. Oh my god, I hate when people chew with their mouth open like like that, like bitch. I'm about to fucking elbow your ass. Like no ma'am. Or like with people crunch, like ugh, fucking annoys me. I hate that shit. Let's see what else. What else do I hate? Mm, I don't know what else. I can't think. I cannot think. Yeah, I hate when people do that. I hate when people fucking um when they drive slow on the fucking road too. Like, bitch, get the fuck out the way. You know, like when you're in the fast lane and you're trying to go go fast, but the bitch is like at sixty. Like, bitch, what the fuck? Get out the No, no, no. There's a difference. I like to hear people eat like, like they're still ASMR, but not when they're chewing with their mouth open. You know, like if they're eating, slurping and all of that, I like. Like they're slurping their little noodles like that. But if they're chewing with their mouth open, like you guys know what I mean? Like, I don't fucking know how they do like. Like, munch, munch, munch. Like, I don't like that. Yo, they drive fast. I was holding my left... <laughs> my left boob. I know Myra was, like, holding on. I gave her... We went to eat ramen when I met her on... On Easter weekend. And I was like, but did you die? But did you die? <laughs> no, you didn't. I don't really care. You live your life, honey. Uh-huh. Fast as fuck, boy. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, hombre. Mimi drives fast. Yesterday, she was going at like 120. I was like, girl, I'm going to die today. <laughs> How did I meet Mimi? Well, I started to follow her a long time ago on social media. I used to watch her videos all the time. Um, and then one day, maybe like five years ago or so, or six, I, I can't keep track anymore because ever since quarantine happened, I lost track of time, you know? Like, como que time went by too fast. She had a, a little nail tour, and she came to Los Angeles, and she had the girl from the the salon um hit me up to come to her to come meet her and bring her some glue because i used to send her glue um i used to watch her youtube channel and then one day i saw her using nail glue for bling and i'm like um let me send you some of this glue you're gonna like it and she was like okay yeah sure and since she tried it she fell in love and so when she moved down here to la to california i mean um, she was like, oh, when I come to LA, can you do my nails? And I'm like, yeah. I met her before she fully moved. I did her nails. And then it's crazy because I used to live in LA. And during when she was buying her house out here in Riverside, I was also buying ours. So I'm like, what the hell? Like, what are the coincidences? We're both moving to the same hood. So that's how she became my client slash friend hi Patri. we could hear you from all the way up am i loud loud should i close my window can you close it for me please like the whole neighborhood heard my story like people walking past are staring at me like i'm a weirdo i'm okay i'll see you because i'm Damn. this woman talking for a lot why is she talking to herself <laughs> And Why is this know. lady talking to herself? You Thank you, Patrick. How long does it take you to do your nails versus the customers? I take long on both, clients or myself. But obviously, I take longer on myself. Um, but I still take a long time with clients. I could go go fast on a client, but she needs to know what the fuck she wants since the moment she gets here. And not pick no French. The fuck? 
like if you want me to go go fast on your nails you're picking a, a fucking nude color and bling that's as fast as i can go nude color bling if you're choosing cheetah print with flowers and fucking frenchies bitch you best believe i'm gonna take a long time all right so right now i'm using my extra fine um my extra fine bit this is my favorite bit as you guys can see it removes scratches look at their scratches fuck now they're not um so i really like this one to kind of remove the scratches and any lumps or bumps that i may have left behind and I also like it for the cuticle area because it's super soft, so it doesn't cut. I'm sure somebody will still manage to find a way. But as long as you hold the file straight, um, you shouldn't hurt a client. So, look, at you could go into your cuticle and voila. My favorite. So check it out. Let me do this one so you guys can see how it removes the scratches. I love to hand file. I prefer hand filing. And then I just go in with this bit for any little less touches. Um, I You drew on the print or did... I did it both. I did the spots with acrylic and then I, I painted the black part. Is that... Is that a bit you sell? Yes, I do. It's the extra fine bit. So this bit is soft enough where you can pass it over and over and over and over again. Eh? And it looks like you're shaving off a lot, but you're not. You're like filing barely anything. So that's why I like it because... If there's anything left, like a little bump, you can file it and you won't shave too much. Because the last thing you want is to be feeling your cuticles and you shave the whole color off. Like, oh, uh, what the hell? That's happened to me in the past and that was fucking embarrassing. I hate that TikTok doesn't let you write a lot. For real, man. But I guess it's for for protection to the to the people, huh? Okay. I forgot to close my window. I thought the neighborhood me escuchó. No manches. Imagine I was talking shit about a neighbor or something. I yeah, just kidding. I don't even know my neighbors. Um, right now, I am using a sample electric file. I've been using this file for many months now, maybe a year or so already. Can you pin all the acrylics used? I only use three acrylics. I use the new, um, como se llama? Perroshkish? Perroshkish is a purple wealth and Mr. Chocolate. So this color and wealth are at the top of the page. If you guys go into my website, they're the first two options. Um, this bit is this bit is my extra fine bit. You guys can find it on my website under bit category. Hey Zule, love the the print. I'm watching you pack orders. Ooh, yes, yeah, Zule in the house. I actually have another video that I packed orders the other day. I was thinking to upload it, but they're kind of like basic orders. Do you guys like watching that video? Those videos? Pack orders with me. Yeah, wait till we're done. They're going to be so beautiful. I used to do my own nails, but it took me four to five hours. Girl, yes. I, I takes me three hours just to do one hand. It definitely is worth it. Back in the day when I used to do both. Well, actually, I guess I would still. But 
I used to do way shorter nails, way shorter. My nails used to be like down here and I used to take eight hours doing my nails. Not, well, I'm lying. I was going to say not the detail I, use, I do now because I've always been very detailed with my sets. Oh, you guys do like the packing orders? Okay, I'll post another one then. I have one more that I did about a week ago. Sule, when's that activator coming? Girlfriend, I'm still um, waiting on, on my packaging. It's coming, it's coming. Sule got the boxes, so pretty. You've got the new boxes are pretty. Just oh, thank you, honey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not Mr. Chocolate. Yeah, it's called Mr. Chocolate. The color is called Mr. Chocolate. Mr. Chocolate. I wish. Oh, I wish my new brushes would get here by next month. That would be the best Mother's Day gift ever for me. I'm so excited for you guys to see them. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. I said I was not going to do new brushes, but I couldn't wait. Because I simply buy your acrylics for the names. Just saying. <laughs> They're cool, huh? The names like no says good. Which one's your favorite? Yeah, I'm too detailed, but I thought that wasn't normal, but now I see it is. Thank you. Yes, honey. You, it's normal. There's people like that do one hour sets or whatever, but they're more they're more detailed or whatever. Like, just know that if you are applying just nude acrylic or clear, that is so much faster than applying an encapsulated design. Or any detail on top, you know? I'm just not fast, even with a nude set. Actually, no, I'm lying. I am pretty fast with a nude set on my clients. That's why when they're in a hurry, I'll be like, girl, if you're in a hurry, get a nude color. You be stuck in my sheet for new stuff, honey. No Bob Esponja, no. He's right here on my nail in my little table. Yes, we're going to add some bling and I'm actually going to do some 3D flowers. I'm not going to add too much bling because I want the cheetah print to be my main focal point of the nails. But I am going to put bling in the flowers. So we're going to make a basic B. Oh, yeah. I love that color. Basic bitch. Chupi chupi el toxico. Hold on, let me file here. All right. Thank you for whoever is still liking. Thank you, Melly. Thank you. We see you, honey. We see you. Can't wait to get my order. Yes, honey. It's probably already on its way. We have already shipped out all the orders. I think I only left like nine orders um, this morning. So if you guys place an order yesterday, it has been shipped out. El Jefe has been on fire. I can't even say that was me because I was not working yesterday. I was with Mimi the whole time. I actually was trying to organize my room. That's what I've been working on, just in case you guys have been like, where's Zule? Oh, wait, I'm not doing it. Just in case you guys have been like, where's Zule? Not that anybody missed me, but Zule been trying to organize a little bit. All right, so let me use my little on-point disc. 
And then while I'm organizing, I've been um finding new colors. I mean, not that they were lost or anything like that, but normally when we have new products, that's how they end up in my room. They end up in my room because I'm the type of person. Hold on. I'm the type of person that if I do not see it in my face, I do not remember it exists. So we just started doing that. Like if a new merch comes in, it goes in my room in here. So I can open the box. Oh, shit. So I can open the box, look through it, and then put it on the website and stuff like that. So that's how I found out about... Well, I'm just kidding. I didn't find out. That's how I started adding these new colors that I posted online. Because I'm like, girl, I need to get these boxes out of my room already. They've been here forever. Alright, let me... I need that drill bit. It's called On Point Disc on the website, my friend. Perfect. For crisping up a nail. I wasn't sure about the purple and gold at first, but these are gorgeous. Yeah, you guys just need to trust the process. That's what I tell everybody. El Jefe Prime. Andale. That is funny. I should, we should call him that. El Jefe Prime. Have you ever had drama with another nail tick? Mm, not necessarily. I mean, the closest thing to drama was she blocked me. <laughs> she blocked me, but I didn't even do shit. I didn't even know her. But like drama, see drama, no. I don't do drama like that. People get mad on their own. Like there was this girl years ago. Years ago that I always talk about this. Well, not always, but something like that. That she would try to like steal my clients and request them and all of that. And one day I tried to look her up because so I found out about it because my sister was one of the ones being requested and my sister was already annoyed of this girl who kept trying to add her and she's like what the fuck does this bitch want like i already denied her i don't know how many times i don't know why she keeps adding me and things like that so then i was like what's her name because i had another client i had another client who told me the same thing like oh this girl's been trying to add me or whatever and so she had told me the name and a lot of my clients have private profiles so they don't just add anybody and so i was like the fuck is the same bitch like who is she and so when i tried looking for her i was blocked i was like rude like girl i don't even know you and you block me the hell but i mean i never told her shit i was like i don't know why she don't like me but no i don't i don't do drama if i didn't do it in high school menos ahora it's not worth your peace okay they're starting to look good they gucci they gucci I'm really enjoying these questions you guys are asking. So keep them coming. Keep them coming. Wow. Beautiful. Wait till we put the top coat, guys. It's going to look extra beautiful. My favorite are going to be the Frenchies. Frenchie vibes. Janie, are we going to be twins? Excuse me. I think this length is good for me. Matte or shiny? Uh, We're going to do shiny for sure. I do not want any matte nails today. <laughs> we can be. 
You know, we're always twins recently, kind of. Are those nails short or is it just me? No, no, no. These are shorter. These are the 2XL square. I decided to do them slightly shorter just for fun. My favorite shape is coffin. My favorite shape is coffin, but I really like square right now, too. Hi, Leslie. Como estas? So let me just crisp it up just a little bit more. Because we want to give myself stretch marks. Eh? Just kidding. I always say that when I give myself a new a new set, me doy pinche stretch marks porque me rasco la verga. Did you pick the name for the? No, not yet. Not yet. I screenshotted a few that I liked. But I haven't picked it yet. I'm a, I'm a pick tomorrow. I'm going to pick a few tomorrow because I, I may use a few names. So I may have multiple winners. I'm doing my nails at work. Oh yeah, Mary. What color are you doing, honey? Um, yes, we did paint the cheetah print. Well, we use acrylic and cheetah. I mean, acrylic and, and gel. All right, hold on. We're almost done, guys. I just need to file a little bit. I love the color combo. Yes, honey, yes. No, hombre, me estoy deshaciendo. Alexa, set the thermostat to on. Resident thermostat doesn't support that. Bitch, what do you mean? How am I supposed to ask her? Alexa, set the thermostat to on. Resonator thermostat doesn't support that. What do you mean, bitch? What did I say earlier? Hmm. I have to use specific words with this help. Alexa, turn on the thermostat to cold. Resonator thermostat doesn't support that. Fuck you. She's going to be like, fuck you. Fuck me. Alexa, turn on the fucking AC. It's set to cool. Oh, now you understand, you whore. Alexa, you bitch, massage me. I'm fucking melting. This bitch trying to not fucking listen. The hell. What did I tell her right now? Uh, the AC? No, it's because El Jefe told me that I had to tell her in a specific way. Let's see. Let me tell her. Alexa, turn down the temperature. The AC is set to 68. Okay. Alexa, set the AC to 65. The AC is set to 65. Oh, yeesh, honey. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I think he lied to me so that I didn't fuck with the AC. He don't like when I play with it. Pincha Alexa never listens. Ahorita sí. What? You know what? Voy a pedir una Alexa for every room in my house now. Pa cuando me ande bañando, si me da frío. Alexa, prende el calentón. Alexa. Oh, and my Alexa is Spanglish. Mira. Alexa, cuéntame un chiste. ¿Por qué Chicago siempre pierde en playoffs? Porque los osos hibernan en enero. Ha, ha, 
Huh. If she cusses bad girl, you better throw her out. Alexa. ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿Ocho? Ay, mucho mayor que tú, hija de tu madre. ¿Eres mi abuela? Alexa, ¿eres mi abuela? Los términos abuelo y abuela son los nombres con los que los hijos designan al padre y a la madre de sus padres y se les llama, respectivamente, abuelo paterno o materno y abuela paterna o materna. Ok, Alexa, ¿te gusta el pito? Mm. She went to sleep. She ignored me. She's like, I cannot answer that. I cannot answer that. There's, there's kids. Pinche perra, yo no te di tiempo de time out. Alexa, ¿te gustan los hombres o las mujeres? Me llevo bien con todo el mundo. <ríe> Ay, Alexa, le gusta de todo. <ríe> y Alexa, fart. Alexa, do a crispy long fart. Um, yes, show me a wet one. Here comes a wet fart. Ah, no, ya no, ya no quiero. No more. Go to sleep. Ew. No. No. Go to sleep. This bitch se cago. Alexa, shut up. Okay. This bitch kept farting. That's enough for today. Pero pues ya saben todo lo que hace la Alexa. Uh, Maga Becky, the juice part. Oh, I'm It's the okay for me. <laughs> yeah, she listens when she wants to. Not always. She had a little gas. Mm hmm. She's like gas or ass. Zule. All right, let me close my little napkin. Because my table is fucked up. So you guys do not need to be seeing this table. Dile que se cague. Pues ya se cagó la perra. Maldita. ¿Tú crees? ¿Tú crees, amiga? Ooh, you just use one of the bling and bling. Yes, honey. You lie, you lie. All right, guys. So we're going to clean these nails now that they're nice and buff. Um, we're going to clean them with alcohol and a lint-free wipe. <sighs> I made your day. It's been rough. Well, I'm glad I was able to make your day a little bit. I've been having a rough week, too. So, we're here to make each other feel better. Eso fue chorro, ¿no? Yo creo que sí. Alexa, ¿traes pamper? <laughs> ¿Traes pamper puesto, amiga? Traes pamper porque parece que te zurraste. Oh my god, these nails are looking fucking bomb, bomb, bomb. Ni, 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 ni. All right. All right, hold on. I hate when these little pieces of acrylic stay on the bottom and then I don't catch them. But I'm not in, in a hurry to fucking do the nail art. All right. Look, here are the motherfucking new nails. See how they look so much nicer, shiny, like we could never do matte. 
Ok, Alexa, turn off the AC. Ya me dio frío. Thank you. Thank you, bitch. All right, so I'm gonna do. Hmm, should I do gold bling or crystal AB with purple? What do you guys think? Should I do this kind of color? Should I do this? Oops. Should I do golden? Take a picture first. <gasps> Oh, but then I have to put top coat. Gold. Okay, gold. Gold it is. Gold it is. This time, they can suck a nut with the basics. They're not going to see a basic version. Well, my nails are not going to be that that bad, bedazzled. I promise. They will be... I'm not going to say they're going to be simple because they're not. And you guys would never... You guys would never allow that, but... They're going to be fairly not too bedazzled. All right. Let me open up my bling. I'm going to steal these. Oh, my God. Becky. Becky. Oh, my. So, these are the Purple Delight. Unfortunately, we don't have size 12 anymore. But we do have size 16. All right, Beckalicious. Let's start with this bling a ling a ling. I think I contaminated my glue yesterday, so let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. I used so much activator yesterday, I was like for sure to contaminate my bottom. Look at it. Yep, it's ooey gooey and icky squishy. So let me. So if you guys ever get like a little blob of glue, just clean it off your napkin. I mean, clean it off with a napkin. All right, I'm going to start off with my flowers. I'm going to do one right here, right here. All right, so I'm going to use my Zule bling. Why is it turning white? Is it that cold? Honey. Honey. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do purple nerpa. The purple color is called um um perushkish perushkish perushkish. Okay, let me find my gold bling. I don't have a lot of small ones. New, 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 Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm so, oh, shit. I used almost all my gold bling on Mimi yesterday. Yeah, she me acabo. Se me acabo. Cabo. Ariel, I'm not going to use any chatons today, but those would look so pretty. I'm just going to be a little normal today because I may take these off tomorrow. Oh my God, Dule, how could you do that? How could you say such a thing? All right, so let me spray these. Spray it and forget it. I think I'm going to do the same thing to the thumb. We're going to be kind of normal. Oh my God, you broke my heart. I'm sorry, girl. I did not mean to break your heart. But this one, I'm going to do it opposite. I'm going to do, I'm going to do gold in the middle and purple all around. I'm, that's a good thing. Maybe I'll see you guys again tomorrow, honey. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit normal. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like a set that somebody would actually wear. Like one of my clients would actually wear. Like a normal client, you know. 
not my crazy client. Something semi-normal. That's what we're going for. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh, I should have done them all purple. All right. For now, this is it. We'll come back to the other nails. All right, let me do my floration real quick. All right, let me get my white acrylic. I need to just leave it in my desk all the time. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me get my white acrylic. That's one acrylic that I need here always, always. Hope it's this one. Nope. Nope. Oh, 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 yes. Here you are, bitch. Yeah, we are not normal at all. But if I'm trying to change my nails again, we need to be a little normal. No, these are not pop off. They are fully on there. All right, so I just put a little bit of monomer in my thing. I wish I had freaking acetone, but I just dropped it on the floor. Well, I didn't drop it on the floor, but the bottle rolled. I'm going to be using my Kalinsky number no. 6, which is my 3D brush. And I'm going to do a floration. I'm going to do a white flower with my white acrylic. This is my favorite brush for like bigger petals. All right, let's get to this flower. So I'm just gonna give it some time to start to set in my brush. And this is one of my favorite flowers. I actually need to do me a sunflower set. I do one every year. God, Vicky, look at her bit. Oh my gosh, look at that flower power. A uh, black or darker purple flower. We are doing white, amiga. We are doing a white flower. We need it to pop. Shit, I forgot to wait on this one. These are like some Bushona nail. Bushona. Bushona nail for you, honey. You could never go wrong with a white flower, guys. When in doubt, do a white flower. So I'm going to do um, the two ends pointy and then the rest are going to be the round petal. So the key for 3D is just to be patient with your acrylic. The white acrylic does dry a little bit faster than other colors. So even without acetone, um, it... It dries fairly fast. Even, I guess right now, because it's kind of warm too, kind of helps. So if you guys haven't tried our white acrylic, I recommend. Bomb.com. You didn't put acetone this time? No, it, my, my bottle fell on the floor. You guys didn't hear it? Like 20 minutes ago, I dropped it. And come okay, I'm not trying to get up. Yeah, it's kind of warm today, so it kind of helps too. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment. You guys want a little silent? Is it because you're tapping? Or yeah, ya se fueron a dormir. Ya se fueron a dormir, mis amigas. Que perra mi amiga, que perra mi amiga. 
This flower would actually look really nice. Jaladita too, but but if we do that, then we're gonna cover all the purple and we need to see oh too big. We need to see some purple. Thank you, Eliana Seja, for liking the live. I appreciate you, Eliana Seja. Loca Ayala. Also, Alejandra. Thank you, thank you. China, thank you. I'm doing my nails too. Ooh, okay. What color are you doing today, honey? Hey, girl. Hi, Crystal. How are you? So, like, ¿cómo aplico a gel en mis propias uñas? Lupe. Pues vas a tener que poner gel de base primero y luego tu gel con la brochita. You are truly an artist. Thank you. I my I'm more of a expert on florations, nail decorations, but no no painting, okay? I'm I use my 2XL square tips. So the 2XL have a little bit more of a curvature. They are not C-curved, but they're not as flat as a 3XL. So if you guys like that. Damn, my fingers are dry as shit. All right, I'm going to do the thumb now. Las tengo que limar. Sí, Lupe. Siempre que te pongas cualquier cosa en tus uñas, te las tienes que preparar o si no, no va a pegar. So she's asking me that if she needs to file her nails to put gel. And I told her, yes. Oh my God, TikTok didn't show you what's going live. Are you shadow banned? I don't know, girl. I think I was shadow banned for like a week. But my profile kind of is going back to normal today. For the past couple days, I feel like my page was kind of invisible but it's going back to normal i think they punished me for not going for not posting pero que enchave muchas gracias de nada um good girly good girly i love your work inspired me oh thank you beautiful thank you beautiful so make sure if you guys don't um get notified, like if you don't have your, your notifications on, turn them on so that you guys never miss a live or a post. Um, I went from square 3XL to coffin 3XL stilettos. Wow, yes, honey, get it, get it. I personally am not, a fan of stilettos like I used to be. I think it's just like a little, um, a little, what is it called? Kind of like food, you know, when you eat, when you eat the same shit over and over and over again, you get tired of it for a while. So I think that's what's happening. That's what's happening with, with my shapes. I did stilettos so much before that right now I'm, I'm going to a different shape, which is square and coffin. And maybe curved soon. Sulay, ¿es esto acrílico? Sí, amiga. Es mi acrílico blanco. Todos los productos que estoy usando today son de mi, de mi marca, amiga. Hasta la brocha. Everything. Any tips on how to start selling your personal nail products? Well, first of all, um, I recommend the one thing that you want to do before you even start to buy or brand your products. So for me, I started selling other products before I um, was able to brand my own, like random ones. So if you want to brand something, you need to make sure um, that you pick a name for your brand that is not already taken. That is the one thing you want to make sure before you order anything. Make sure that that name, go to the city, to the city hall or whatever the fuck it's called, and pick a name for your business. And that business needs to not be taken because the one thing you don't want is for you to pick um, a name and 
it's not available for you. And let's pretend you're using the name and then that brand or company or whatever happens to find out. And then they have you remove it, you know, they give you a a letter, a notice saying that you have to stop using my name. This is my name or whatever the fuck. Um, And then you already invested all this money in your products or whatever. So make sure to do that first before you do anything else. That's my recommendation. And then just search whatever product you're looking for. Do some research. Find and try. Oh, I like this one. Try the products. And then you everything is in the research. You have to search to see. I think I'm going to do it in here too. Um, the website you want to sell on to. Because some people prefer a certain site than others so you have to look into that as well like do you want to sell on shopify do you want to sell on big cartel do you want to sell on etsy on ebay on amazon things like that you have to research to see what benefits you and things like that so don't just jump into to trying to buy to sell do your research on other things as well That happened to my friend with Victoria's Secret. <gasps> oh, they sent her a season desist. <laughs> Honey, yes. Yeah, like a lot of people don't know that, but you have to because um, it's called a DBA. It's a doing business as. So Google it. If you guys don't know what that is, a DBA, you have to get a DBA. And when you go sign up for it to the to the county clerk's office there's well back then you had to search it yourself in a computer i don't know if it's still the same or not but you type in the name you want and it will tell you if it's available or not if it's available then you are gonna pay your little fee and they'll give you your little paper and you're official honey you are official under that name for the next five years so nobody else can do business under that name and as long as yours is active. And so yeah. That's how you know it's available. Or you could trademark it if you want to. But the bad thing is you cannot trademark your real name. So pick a name that's not yours. If you want to trademark something. Come on, Diamond. I need like few more. Come on, bitch. And the DBA, you also need it for your business bank account. So um, I'm just sharing what I've learned in my process as an entrepreneur. Um, when I wanted to open my business bank account, they did ask me for a DBA. And so that's how I found out that I needed one. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And then they told me. So I learned as I went. Little by little. My name is Unique. So I couldn't use it either way. Oh, man. Uni. Your name is Uni. There's too many Uniques going on. Yeah. I got very lucky that. There's not a lot of Zuleys. I don't have to find no bitch for my name. But yeah, so if you guys want to start anything official, make sure to do that. Research your shit. Research. And pick an easy name. Pick an easy name. Something people will remember. Sorry, typing sent before I finish. That's funny. The name unique is common. Huh? Like it's unique, but everybody is called unique. What? Mm-hmm. It's crazy because all the unique names, 
like the ones that were not as popular before are becoming trendy and all the popular names like Maria, Jose and things like that. No, ain't nobody trying to name their kid like that no more, right? So in the future, those are going to be rare. Be like, oh, Jose. Be like, what? You can incorporate your business instead of doing the DBA. The banks make you close account to change it once. Oh, yes, that's true. But it depends. It depends on your business size. Not everybody is recommended for that. Because if you do incorporate, then you're responsible to pay a yearly fee. And, you know, some businesses don't have the money for that. So just look into it as your business starts to grow. There is Azule Smith. I was accidentally at her and so I know she got mad and damn. Like, ma'am, I'm trying to um tag Zule Schnellsch. But yeah, so if you guys are going into business, just research what I need to know to start a business or some shit like that. There's a lot you need to know. But do not get intimidated. Trust me, you will learn as the process goes. If Zule could do it, you could do it too. Because she's stupid. Hey, Zule's not book smart or anything like that. But she got ideas. And she got a, a supportive husband that helps her. He is the brains in... He is the book smart in the relationship. If I have a question, he answer. But I am very smart in different... In different... um different part of smart i'm a business smart okay just don't know the fucking key term definitions don't ask me because i can't answer that how to make the leper girl was that your first choice for a name yes because that is my name zule's nails i mean my name is zule so i was like i'm gonna do zule's nails fuck it so one thing that I'm going to tell you guys too, like if you guys want to start a nail business or whatever, um, I don't know if you want to really use your own name. It could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Sometimes people don't want to support you because they don't like you or or they, they don't even know you, but they just don't like you because you're a girl and girls are like that. So I feel like, I don't know. My business would have probably been more successful if I hid behind it <laughs> or maybe not. Who knows? Like a lot. Of, I have a lot of beautiful supporters that support me because of me and they like me and all of that. But there's other bitches who are like, nah, fuck her, da, 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 you know, so it could go both ways. Sometimes it's in a way is I don't know if it's best to just fucking be anonymous or not. But I don't know. Just saying. I'm just saying because it's been a struggle. So maybe pick something that's not your name. How would they know you're the owner? They wouldn't. Uh, shit, no. Oh, shit. You guys are answering about the acrylic. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, my beautiful friends, for responding. We did use wealth acrylic um, for the base. I like it. I love it when people be like, is that a sticker? Like, oh, my God, is that good? Thank you. <laughs> if you guys missed it, I will be adding it to my YouTube channel. I actually already have a video like this on my YouTube channel. So, um, you guys could check that out if you don't want to wait. It's in a pink version. That means you showed the fuck out. Yes, honey. That Cheetah print is actually one of my top things that I can do, bitch. Like, girl, me do for you, okay? Me do for you. Animal print is where I slay. I slay. I I I'm very very good at animal print. I can even do giraffe. 
I didn't know you had a YouTube. Yes, girl, I have a YouTube channel. Go check it out. My YouTube channel is Zule's Nails. I should probably link it on my on my TikTok, huh? Yeah, I did some pink ones using Barbie. That's why this time I decided to use a solid color so that they could look a little different. I don't remember exactly what I did to to that set. But I know for sure we did cheetah print. I don't think I did Frenchies. If I did, I regretted not doing more than one. Yes, I definitely want to do these. Yes, Janie, let's be twins. Look at all these little flowers. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm going to do... I'm not going to do any flowers on these two because these are the normal ones. I'll probably do like two little diamonds or a little cuticle. Nothing too crazy. And then the rest, I'll still add bling. So let's do the bling a ling a ling. Let's bring the purple nail. Purple nail. Look at my little Patrick. So cute. What time is it? I'm over here having so much fun with my friends. Let me put my phone to charge. Oh shit. Hold on, guys. Let me put my charger before. Oh, que la verga. I'm be dropping everything. My charger be dropping everything on my table. What time is it? In California. Who's in California? Oh, it's 10. Damn, it's 10 20, honey. Oh my gosh, you need to hurry up. It's not like I go to work tomorrow, but. Okay, thank you, amigas. Thank you. Wish I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. You guys already know I'm going to do like some squiggly shit. I love it. I love me some squiggly, squiggly shit. All right. I want those nails. Yes, Shani. Come get them. I'm going to do some squiggly shit, bitch. All right, so do you guys have any other question? Ask right now or forever, forever hold it in. I like when you guys ask me questions because it keeps the chit chat going. Oh my God, Becky, these are going to be so fucking cute. I really fucking love them. How do you know where to put the gems? I don't. I just go with the flow. I for the most part, I feel like I um repeat the gem placement. So if you don't know where to put bling, just get inspo from other other um nail techs. And then the more that you do or see, the more you'll start thinking that, oh, I remember seeing this. And it will start to flow. So for me, my favorites are always a swirly-whirly situation. Like, I don't want to cover the cheetah print, the cheetah print, or too much of the, the purple. So my best bet here is to just do like a little something here, you know? Because if you were to just add something at the cuticle, that's kind of odd. Like, bitch, what is that bling just randomly sitting there? You know, so you kind of want to like flow it in. What's better for gems, cluster gel or the glue? Um, It's preference, whatever you prefer. They're both amazing. I use the cluster gel for clusters and pixies. Um, And for the flat crystals, I like I like the, the bling adhesive because I'm impatient. So if you take a long time putting bling then i would say cluster gel is the best bet for you because that one doesn't dry until you dry it and like i said i am an impatient ass bitch so i need that shit to dry a sap so that's why i like the bling and sim. how do you get dried acrylic off your brush just let it sit in your monomer let it sit in your monomer for a little while. And it will loosen up. Alright, so I'm just going to add a little bit down here. Not too much because we don't want to 
overpower the design either. Sometimes you need to learn when enough is enough. You know, like we like, we like the shebang, the bling and all the craziness, but sometimes less is more. You want to think like, what is the main, the main idea of your set? Like, what is your main attraction? Pretty much not attraction, but you know what I mean? Like, what is the main view here is the cheetahs at the flower or the bling and sometimes if you have too much going on you have to um how to call it tone it out somewhere like yeah we want to be extra but we want to be extra but also we want to appreciate other shit on the nails mm. Hold on, let me read this comment first. What's the mean when you clean the nail then turns white? If you're just cleaning the nail with alcohol, it's because the alcohol is drying too slow. So that will happen if you have like a, um, either it's cold, like a cold temperature, or your alcohol is lower than um, like 95 or 90, 100. What is the 91%? Uh, let's see. Okay, hold on. How do you respectfully deny service to a client who is loyal and consistent with appointments, but drains your energy with negativity? W well, what does besides draining you? What what? How does she drain you? Just telling you her cheese man. Are all your bling Swarovski? The ones that I'm using on my nails, yes. So for me right now, um, Jackie, my nails turn white with the uh, with the alcohol because it's kind of cold in my room now, and so the alcohol evaporates slow. But I'm gonna clean it again. But this time I'm put less alcohol on my wipe. I've seen so many texts say how bad brush cleaner is, but I honestly love it. I've never used brush cleaner, so I cannot say it's bad or or good. I just never really needed to use it. These nails are looking so fetch, honey. Like personally, I have clients who drain my energy too with their negative negativity their cheese mesitos so i try to tune them out sometimes like when it is too much for me because it's like honey i need to get paid still you know but you have to protect yourself too from like headaches and all of that so don't be afraid to like not initiate conversation oh okay i think my uncle 70 percent. yes so always try to get the highest one like i think it's 90 percent or 95 or some shit Hold on, let me look at my 91%. It evaporates too slow, it will turn white. But if you um put top coat, sometimes it comes off. Like even if the nail is white, it will still um it will still disappear. So like if I were to put top coat on my nail, the, the ones that have like white, it can come off. Um, Zoo, how many cookies would you ask for this cheetah set? Well, it depends on the length. I did a set something like this on a client. I believe, I think it was on a freestyle. So if they're short, for a short set, I would say like a hundred cookies. Like a short to medium length. I'm like, what fucking nail was I working on? It depends, honestly, what fits on the damn nail. But I would say no less than that. Well, I would charge no less than that. Unless it's a freestyle, then I always give them a better deal. Because I get to be creative, you know? That's why if your nail lady offers... um, If your nail lady offers freestyles... Try it. Try it. You always get a little bit more. 
a little bit more than than what you're paying with a freestyle. Yeah, and then it also depends on your crystals, guys. So if if you guys are using the good good, then obviously you up the price. If you're using something lower quality than Swarashkish, then you can lower the price. Whatever whatever you think. But don't undercharge for your work. Especially like it you don't want to give away your crystals for free. If they cost you at least charge them for the the your labor plus what the crystals cost because I know for a fact in the past when I was a beginner I would be embarrassed to charge for the Swarovski crystals and um then I was like literally regalando to los like no quieren pagar los tres cookies I don't know if I should add more or just like that. This is pretty cute like that, huh? Yeah, I think that's good enough. Delaine has good enough. Okay. But don't trust me with my math. I'm not good at math. I need a paper all the time. All right, let me spray it and forget it. Pray it and forget it. They're so pretty, huh? Okay, now let's do top coat. Let me put my bling here so I don't drop it. All right, so I'm gonna get less less alcohol so it doesn't turn white. Sometimes when you have too much on your napkin is when it does that. These purple blings, perfection. Perfect for this set. Look at la 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 la. I have that stupid song de la pinche Selena Gomez in my head. All right, so I'm gonna be using my Zule shiny top coat. If you guys have not tried this top coat, you guys are missing out, bitch. Y'all are missing out. Is the best of the best and 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 the best. <laughs> oh, you've been waiting for that top coat? Mm-mm-mm, honey. So beautiful. You're beautiful. Wow, look at that. Look at that, bitch. You guys could even do half shiny, half matte if you wanted to. <gasps> You're not down, Zule. You're not down. Should I? Should I be down or should I just do the more shiny? Like, I'll do the purple matte. Yes, you are down. Oh, shiny. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll, guys. Let's poll, poll, poll. All right, I promise I will not cheat. If you guys if you guys tell me one thing I will do, okay? Just help me decide because okay, let's do, let's do. Um, let's see. Interact. Being chitching than I mean, hold on guys. All right, so happy face is going to be shiny. All shiny. And sad face will be all the purple parts matte. All right, ready, set, go. If you guys want everything shiny, do happy face. If you guys want everything shiny but purple matte, put crying face. Ooh, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Oh my god, Becky, look at that pole. Oh my god, Becky, look at that. Oh my god, oh my god. Thirty seconds, guys. Vote. I don't want you guys crying later if you didn't vote. If you want all shiny, happy face. If you want shiny and matte, crying face, let me vote. Let me lock in my answer. Oh my God. A ver, a ver, a ten, five, four, three, two, one. Oh no, 10 seconds. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Bam! Shiny one by three points. All right, what is? And that would look so pretty. All right, well, if you guys do try it, let me know how that looks. I always like to let you guys be a part of this decision. I get crazy ideas sometimes, and I want you guys to back me up, but you don't. Eh, just kidding. Maybe it was a crazy idea to do math. So maybe you guys are like, no, Zulay. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. So beautiful. I think I'm going to do a finger. Not my finger, but like a, a sample one with a matte, half matte, half shiny. Like a tutorial, huh? I created this. All right, let's see this um, shiny Cheetalicious. The glossy, honey. Wow. Oh, my God. So fucking pretty, pretty, pretty. I love it. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Beautiful nail for you. Aquí estoy. Ahí anda la my reina todavía. ¿Te andabas bañando, Mayra? This is my favorite set you've done. Thank you. Thank you, amiga. You're a purple lover, huh? So if you guys haven't tried our clear top coat, our clear acrylic, honey, you missing out. Look at that. Oh, la psycho todavía aquí. Wow. Ustedes están medalla. Who's been here the whole time? Comment if you've been here the whole time. Ya tú sabes, chica. Ya tú sabes, nena. Okay, we have some Kali. I mean, okay, Julia in the house. Millie tapping away. Okay, Janie. Um, Gabby. La butterfly. Soy lechuza. A ver, hold on. What you say? No duermo. I stay up for the late. Woohoo! So las le oh wait, lechuza says an owl, huh? You a night owl, honey? Wow, you guys are true homitas. Yes, thank you, my friends. Thank you for. Stain with Zule. Oh, honey. I think I would be so mad if I did it matte. I'd be mad if I did it matte because that shiny just, oh, hits different. But somebody try it. I, I don't think I could do it after I saw it shiny. Like, it looks pretty, but I would cry. You try it, Janie. You try it and, and then... Maybe, maybe homitas in the house with la troubles. Uh huh. La troubles, la little shiny. Comment, comment below what your chola name would be right now or what your chola name used to be. My chola name in high school was troubles. I was troubles. But now, if I had a chola name, it'd be like la shiny. No, leave it like that. No hablas español. Sí, Wendy. Sí, hablamos español, pero aquí hablamos English y Spanish. Yo sería la shiny. La shiny locota. Porque está locota la pinche su ley. I'm just kidding. Yo no estoy loca. Just sometimes. Taco kisses. 
Mine is psycho. I used to be malosa. And when I was little, they called me laughter. Oh, I mean, a little, little, little one. And Myra will be la little one, little hands. Mini me. No, 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 amiga. You never put top coat on flowers. Never. La dimples. Ooh, thank you, nail gadgets. La Leo Hens. Mm -hmm. Okay, nena, bendiciones, gracias. La Leo Hens. Negra, whoop. I was la tita por chiquita. Mm. La, oh, I know, la fun size. <laughs> Mousy, Leo A Rock was mine. La shorty. Shorty, shorty. The bigger you. All my shorties. You guys are la fun size, okay? Dude, I should make a collection with 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 funny chola names like that, huh? La smiley, la fun size, la troubles, la shiny, or some shit like that. <gasps> That'll be so cute. That'll be funny. Shy girl. Why do sometimes bubbles appear when putting top coat bubbles in your clear? Because you didn't clean the nail. If there's bubbles or separation, it's because the nail is not clean. Zule, I'm your fun.
Una noche más y copas de más. Tú no me dejas en paz, de mi mente no te vas.